What's up, everybody? Valhalla Sports Talk is on the air. Kentucky Wildcats, Texas A&M Aggies. A watch party with a host, with a host. Actually on screen. <laughs> Actually up in here, up in here, hanging out with y'all. This game set to start at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. 7 o'clock on the East Coast. Results of our poll today. What do you think of these polls? I like them because I'm a Grover. Lame. Stupid. Dumb. Where are the choices? I like them because I'm a Grover wins it with 85% of the vote, 14% for lame. Shout out to Daniel Berry Sports Highlights, Sheila, and Sarah Small. Sarah Small is up in here, up in here already. This game will be shown. On the ACC network, on your television remote. And I might have to turn some lights on. Tony Amazuka in the house. What's up, Tony? Tony? What's going on, Tony Amazuka? What's going on? All right, Kentucky is a six-point favorite in this one. The over-under is 159. A money line bet for AM plus 205. Money line bet for the Kentucky Wildcats, minus 250. So those of you that like to put some Skrilla, some Scratch, some Bacon, some dinero, some Dollars, some Ducats, some Cheddar, some Cheese, some Money, some Moolah on the game, that's probably what it looks like right now, pre-tip. Pre-tip. Went to the arcade earlier with my nephew. It was fun. Nice. Sarah Small, first to make a bet. Sarah Small put 100,000 of her Valhalla Sports Talk points on them Wildcats. Did I remember to turn it on? I guess I did. I guess I did. That's what happens when, you, when you're a professional streamer, sports streamer, y'all. You just do stuff. There's our look at the Bridgestone Arena, Tennessee. Bab Dave, up in here, up in here. What's up, Mahal and everyone? Who's ready for Kentucky to run wild on T A and M? Big Blue Nation, y'all. What's all Big Blue going on? Got going on on their uh, X page. What they got going on over there? Eddie Fan picking car 115. I'm not sure what that means, Danny Fan. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that means. I don't know how much of this we can watch, y'all. I'm not sure how much we can allow to look at. But Shepard is the dude for them Wildcats. What's up, Mama? You sleepy? It's Friday. Absolutely. That's what you want to do. Coach Calipari, Kentucky fans, are we team Coach Calipari or are we not team Coach Calipari? Hit me up in them comments.
One hour, 15 minutes. No, bro, it starts right now. Four o'clock. Four o'clock, bro. 12 minutes, Danny fam. You better get your gambling in. Better get your bet in. <laughs> you better call him right now. Tubby Smith was honored as an SEC legend, three-time National Coach of the Year. Three-time, three-time. Russell Wilson signed his deal today. Yes, they did. Sarah, you're not breaking the biggest news of the day. Minnesota Vikings trade picks to move up to number 23. Now have two first-round picks in the National Football League draft. Coming up in April. That was the big news. That was the big ones. Aaron Donald did retire. We talked about all this in the first stream today. Vikings received pick number 23. Give up a seventh, a two, and a 20-25 two. Excuse me. Go Kentucky, says SG. Been spitting out two messages at a time. I'm going all in on this one, y'all. I'm going all in. I gotta win my voice back. <laughs> that sound like a gambler you know, chat? Does that sound like a gambler that you might know? <laughs> I just got clipped. <laughs> but this one, I'm going all in because I know. I know what's up. Bam. What you got, Sheila? What you got? What you got, Sheila? Come on, Sheila. Don't you take that team. Don't you take them, Wildcats. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy G signed with the Rams. That's some breaking news. Jimmy G to the Rams. I already picked Kentucky, says Sheila. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Shots fired, shots fired, says Rhodes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to turn on lights, y'all, because it's going to get dark quick. I'm going to have to turn on some lights. Am I glow in the dark now?
Bob checks in. What do you think of Aaron Donald? Um, it's cool. Philip Davis, welcome to the Berserkers. General Thor will be proud. Rams got a quarterback, baby. It's a summer robe. Van Jefferson to the Steelers. Ooh. Thank you so much, though, Philip Davis. Let's welcome him to the Berserkers, y'all. Let's welcome him to the Valhalla Sports Talk Berserkers. All right, just 11 likes, y'all. We got to get that up. Got to get that like number up, y'all. Let's be poverty. They must be planning to wait till the last millisecond. Yep, Vikings make the trade with Houston, Bob. Johnny Owen. Someone is drinking serious Jim Jones Kool-Aid in San Diego. Do the Padres have the best rotation in baseball? <laughs> Rams backups been so bad lately. I will take Jimmy. I like swap meets. Says 12 on my side. 11, 12, 11, 12. What's the difference? One. <laughs> What what is uh man, I hope that comes up. Hope it comes up. So Kentucky the two, the Texas is the seven. Seven Eastern on the SEC network. So Mississippi State and Auburn are going to battle in the semifinals in that other side of this bracket. Yeah, I know you are, Sheila. I know you are. <laughs> you should do stand-up. You should do stand-up. You know what you should do, SG? You should do some sports talk on your sports talk channel. That's what you should do. And quit hanging out over in Grover's channel. I'm going to the movies tomorrow, says Bob. <laughs> but really, Johnny, what choice do the Padres have but to be delusional? Devondre Campbell to the Niners? We need to beat them like a drum in Korea. I don't have time, says SG. What do you mean you don't have time? <laughs> what do you mean you don't have time? <laughs> F Grover. <laughs> 27 in the house. I'm a busy man, says SG. <laughs> Michigan fires head coach Jawan Howard. Wasn't he one of the main dudes in the big four? Maybe after this one, y'all, we'll go over to Pitt, Carolina. That was dumb. That's correct, Bob. This game is on ESPN on your local television remote. That's right. I'm getting a little worried about the audio, y'all. I'm getting a little worried. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. We got four minutes to tip. And they still talking about what's gonna be on what channel.
Michael Negrete. Tough day for the Rams fans. Aaron Donald retired and signed G Yimmy G. Yimmy G. As she didn't like the move for the Rams. At least I don't get butt hurt like most of the peeps. What you talking about? Oh, the Fab Five. That's correct, Danny. I stand corrected, Danny. You on ESPN since Summer Obe. No, you on ESPN. No, I'm on uh, Sirius XM Radio. Wow, he's going to read them off again. That fool going to read them off one more again. He would, don't you be starting no drama? Don't you be starting no drama up in here, Sheila? Jimmy G is good news. Have you seen some of our recent backups? You should give the COO a wet willy. You should give yourself a wet willy. Bob says, so the Dodger game next week, 3 a.m. For me, yep, 3 a.m. 6 o'clock for the East Coasters but 3 a.m. for us West Coasters. Five AM where Sarah Small resides. Five AM Dodger Baseball. It's time for a Valhalla Sports Talk Dodger Baseball stream. I'm going to try a refresh here because this is getting concerning at the least. She says a wet willy is when you make your finger wet with spit and stick it in the other person's ear. I know what a wet willy is, SG. SG out here thinking he's breaking news. Okay. Let's go all the way back. Let's go all the way back and try this again because I'm looking at basketball players. There's 503 before tip off. Ella Perry wearing that suit coat that is not friendly to the television set. Theo Sam Eagle in the house. What's up, Theo? That wind really picking up, y'all. That wind really picking up outside. Butterfly in the house.
Get the likes up. I agree with Sarah. I totally agree with Miss Sarah. News flash, Bob. It is windy in Arizona. There were Kentucky fans in the arena during our first game. Hit the storm cellar, says Theo. Now, we're supposed to get a storm, though. Supposed to get a storm. Bridgestone Arena, home of the SEC Championship. A lot of Kentucky blue filing in to the Nissan entrance. And wow, the stands dominated. In Kentucky blue, white, and gray. Our stream earlier today, the Bulldogs upset the Volunteers. And Auburn blew out South Carolina in a game that Grover just turned his shit off and deleted it. Yeah, SEC Network. Nashville close to Lexington, Kentucky. Everyone's been laughing at the Eagles getting picket from the Steelers. Interesting. Baton Rouge. That is correct, Bob. That is correct. All right, again, y'all, the scoreboard's usually a little bit ahead of the audio. It's just how it is. Crispy in the house reports five days till Dodger baseball. All right, so I'm going to get synced up with my TV when the game starts, and then I'll go over and get the stat page rolling.
You heard it, Kentucky in all white, A&M in black. The tip is up. We're synced. Stats are up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm watching. Dragon Kingdom in the house. Cowboys release Blayton Vander Esch. I don't see no desk audio. There we go. Why don't you guys lead. tell me the audio Kentucky wasn't working? Reeves at the hoop to our left. Three dribbles from the right hander. A slight bend to the knees. Good rotation. That one rolls off the left edge. And the rebound tracked by Tyrese Radford. The man they call Boots for Texas A&M. Aggies with their first crack at the scoreboard. Manny Obasaki, who checked into the starting lineup four games ago, has it at the top. Down the left lane line between two trees, puts it up on Yenso Swatson. Levesque picks it up for AM to Obasaki, right corner three, bingo. Last five games, averaging over 15 points. He's able to knock down shots from outside. He's playing with a lot more confidence. Three to one, AM. Adu Thierro down the left lane line on the drive for Kentucky. To Edwards out top, Reeves. Three for the answer. Rattles, no. And the rebound taken by Levesque underneath for the fighting Texas Aggies. Wade Taylor pull up three in transition. That one's good. That's where uh -oh, he's Oh, I hope this one don't go like the first the game we watched, y'all. And the good thing about him, he's played here. He's had success in this building and making shots. They have to contain him off the bounce. 6-1, A&M with a pair of threes. And Kentucky throws it away under the basket. Turnover. Colin Washington intercepts it for A&M. Oh, no. Black left to right. Taylor, fancy dribble. Down the right lane line to the cup for a right-hand lay-in. And John Calipari takes an early time. I'm out quickly by Calipari. A&M comes out like a house on fire. 8-1. The Aggies lead with 18-17 to play in the first half. Tony, what are they doing well? Getting back. Not he's that my co-host is here to assist? Know these guards are going to come. They're going to attack. I don't know where he Although went. you think they're going to play a slower pace. I don't know where he went. They know COO is finishing up her Friday. She got about 20 so minutes to go. In the scouting plan is in a room. Them before the back line defense gets set. All right, so Wade Taylor, six feet, 175 pounds. He plays much bigger than that. You've seen a lot of really good guards in your day. What do you like about the Texas A&M leader? Confident. He has confidence. He's poised at the position, and the coach trusts him. And when you have a player, that so can get we're down in trouble. What you talking three, about, Sheila? Then he's streaky at times, but What's he has the confidence. About? Once he sees one go through the net, he's going to stay aggressive. When you come down SEC and pull up upset Friday or why? You got to have some confidence. Here's Kentucky with the ball. They got to bring it 94 feet, trailing eight to one with 18 17. I turned that audio. It's on me. Third of four quarter finals <laughs> here at the SEC. Tournament. I know what it was. It was when I was redoing the thumbnail for this game, y'all. That I screen, turned it off. Across the line, left side. Reeves fires right corner. Catch and shoot three off the mark for Justin Edwards from the right corner. The rebound tapped out by Reeves underneath. Excuse me, tapped out by AM. Reeves was in there battling for it, and Kentucky gets it back with 20 to shoot. Anderson Monster taking Garcia, it like a man. Man that folks in Texas call the <laughs> Dominican so Rockman. I love in. me some college hoops as Miss Sarah. And in there to try to give Texas A&M a lift. Kentucky lobs it in from the right side of the baseline to Ugana Onyenso. 
Sends it out front now for DJ Wagner, freshman from Camden, New Jersey, who pounds the right-hand dribble at the top. Switches to the left. Knifes down the left lane line. Threw it over the rim. It didn't draw iron. And Garcia gets the rebound for Texas A&M. Ahead to Wade Taylor, the fourth, who already has five points in this first half. Left wing to Boots Radford. Radford to Garcia, left of the lane against the arrow. Hands it off Radford, pick and roll with him. Puts it up inside on Yenzo, swats it with the right hand. And the Yenzo, the block, and Kentucky's the, running. Court, it's Wagner. Kicks left wing, Edwards. Got careless with the dribble. Got it back between the rings. Edwards, right wing, inside the arc. Kicks it outside for Fierro. Driving left, he lost his footing. He's trying to get rid of it. Finds Wagner, left of the lane. Out to Reeves. Dials a that, Hit that, hit that, hit that. Yeah! This one's off, moving without the ball, getting his feet set. Knocking down a three from the outside. Reeves has been really good for them all season and hasn't gotten enough credit for how well he's played. Antonio Reeves is the leader on this UK team with regard to experience, a senior from Chicago. Here for Illinois. the excellent Val commentary. The game State, audio, just game audio. He's got a couple of years Thank under you, his belt Thank you, pal. in Lexington. And he knocks down a big shot. How you doing, though, Theo? How you doing, buddy? Moment. But it looks like we've got an official review here as Doug Chow's makes right, his way official over the review. monitor. Doug tells us that. They're going to take a look at the previous play with 17-17 left in the first half with A&M leading 8-4. So a guy like Antonio Reeves, tell me what his experience is worth. Even though Kentucky's got a lot of talent, they're very young. How does that play into their success? Number 12 in white, he's been on this stage. He's played here before. He gives you a guy that's can score electric. on both both sides. And when I say a four-level score, he can score going to the rim, he can score mid-range, he can shoot the three, and also he can get to the foul line. So he gives you a four-level score. And then you, you can't, when I think about experience, you can't teach the experience that he brings back for Kentucky. And it's made them a much better team because he's the one guy they can rely on and they can get them 20 on a given night. All right, so eight to four, that's our score. a and going to get the ball here with 17-17 left. Reed Shepard, the SEC Freshman of the Year, has entered the game for the first time for Kentucky. Out there with Reeves, Fierro, Rob Dillingham is on for the first the time. Texas A&M coach arrested for in murder. And a fantastic Poisoning score. pregnant girlfriend. What? And will bring it left to right as Solomon Washington gets ready to play it in at the baseline down to our left. Comes into Wade Taylor the fourth, and he'll bring it up against Rob Dillingham. Angling left outside the three-point line against the UK guard. Inside to Washington. Spins to his left. Goes up. Had it swatted back at him by Theo. Out of here with that mess. Goes out of bounds off of the Kentucky guard. Back to Texas A&M. But already that rim protection showing up for the Cats in a big way. Yeah, they're seeing the ball. They're making sure that they're, they're trying to stay out of rotation. The only way you can protect your back line is... It's start, stop letting guys get to the basket. Taylor takes a handoff. Three left corner and on target. Wade wow. Taylor has eight early points to lead A&M. Taylor. And the Aggies have an 11-4 edge with 16.53 and counting in this first half. Dillingham for Kentucky. At the top, pull up three for the answer over Washington goes. And the answer uh, on the other end. The answer on the other One end by shot. Kentucky. Zero and White is a bucket getter. 11 to 7, Taylor to the logo. Gets it into the corner, right side, Obas, or rather Washington, back up to Radford. He wow, they are trading threes. It's a rain in threes. Hallelujah, it's a rain in threes. Kentucky early with 16 20 left in the half. The arrow at the top drives down the left lane line, a collision down low with Anderson Garcia. He's fouled on the drive, and Kentucky's going to get to the free throw line for the first time. Or excuse me, the second time. Reeves got there early. It's crazy. Foul is on Manny Obasaki. It's his first. Number two on Texas A&M. And Adu Thierro goes to the oh. line. He's been very good. Almost 80% at the charity stripe this year. First for the right-handed. Good rotation. And that one's perfect. Pulls Kentucky within six. On Yenso exits, and John Calipari goes to the bench for seven foot two, two hundred thirty four pounds of Zonavir Avisic. Comes Avisic. The arrow second, no good. Front rim, back rim, and off. And Garcia in there again to grab another rebound for Texas A and M. A and M with it, leading by six. Radford across the line, works off a high screen from Garcia to the left of the lane. Now retreats outside the arc. Kentucky and a man-to-man. -man. 
Members, members in the chat. Let me see it rain in the chat with these Kentucky and Texas A&M logos. Let me see it rain in the chat, members. Spam it. Spam both teams' logos in the chat. So we've got a timeout with 15.45 left in the first half. A hot start for Texas A&M. The Aggies lead Kentucky 14-8 on the SEC radio network. Hey, hey, it's starting. Who do you think will win? So far, the unbeatable duo of Sunkiss Soda Watermelon Lemonade is in the lead. The taste is like a sip of sunshine. I she I'm looking paying about attention. the SEC College Basketball Tournament. Yeah, me too. Sunkiss Soda is an official sponsor, but with so many flavors like berry, lemonade, and peach, I can't decide which flavor will win. <laughs> yeah, okay, but what about your pick to win the game? Nah, I'll just focus on my Sunkiss Soda's fruit flavors. Ah. <sighs> Enjoy all the games with all the refreshing fruit flavors of Sunkiss Soda, an official sponsor of the SEC. When you live in SEC country, you feel it everywhere you go. The traditions and rivalries surround you. Oh, well, there you go. As much as you celebrate the game, Regions celebrates your financial wins even more. And like SEC fans, we'll never quit. Because in an SEC world, we're the SEC Bank. Regents, official bank of the SEC. Member FDIC. Some say New York had the greatest lineup ever back in 27. Though Woodstock in 69 was pretty yeah. good. <laughs> and then there was Chicago in 98. <laughs> but perhaps... There you go. That's how you do it, Summer O. Mercedes-Benz <laughs> electric vehicles. <laughs> Choose from a growing list of models, like the versatile EQB, the stunning EQS, or the roomier EQS SUV. Go to your local dealer or MBUSA.com to learn more. Mercedes-Benz, official vehicle of the SEC. SEC Basketball is brought to you all week long by Gatorade. Nothing beats Gatorade. By Pfizer, At 15 likes, COVID 276 views. Sponsor of the SEC. We got 28 Bushes, up in here, up in here. Beautiful Bean Company. 14-8, Texas A&M leads Kentucky with 15.45 to play in the first half of this quarterfinal matchup here in Nashville. Tony Wade Taylor, big for Texas A&M in the opening moments of this game. Yeah, he didn't forget last time when he played against them at College Station when he, when he gave Kentucky 31. He's a player you have to be there on the catch. You can't have the space between when he catches the ball and he gets his feet set. He's I think it's a, uh, like a border collie because that was their logo. When start making his shot, He's Theo really says I sent the lawyer two or three hours of work. So you know what that means. Whoever's guarding have to contain him. Six hundred dollars. When the ball arrives, it has been a long time since the eighteen game gauntlet that is the SEC schedule began. But before yeah, I think it's like season, a border collie. Some road. A lot of people were really high on Texas A&M, thought they could win this league with the talent they had. And the original Taylor, thumbnail that I did media, had a border call on it. Preseason player of the year. This is a guy who can ball. And I wasn't, I wasn't is that upset enough spam when they for that sandwich because they returned guys well coached and just as uh, I don't think it was enough. And, and when he's out there, I don't think it was enough spam, especially when he can make plays and he not can nearly enough. And that's what he's been doing all season. Kentucky with the ball, a side out in backcourt as it comes into Shepard. Shepard. Of Isich, Mitchell, so we're Antonio puts the Reeves, and Dillingham. <laughs> Dillingham at the top. He drives around Carter to the rim for a right hand lay. Let's go. Great at getting downhill, especially when the ball is, is penetrated by him. Makes a great play at the rim. 14 10. Kentucky back with it. Alex in the house. And a whistle away from the ball. Anderson Garcia holding at the top, and Dillingham's going to get called for a push as Taylor tried to cut through the lane. First on Rob Dillingham, number one on Kentucky in the first half. Solomon Washington is back in the Texas AM lineup. He replaced. What you got, Chad? What you got? Let's see some spam. Taylor will play it in, 28 feet away on the right side in the offensive half. What you got? Comes Steve got thinking Carter, you can make it blur. Radford, white headband on his head. AM in black attacking the hoop to our right. Wade Taylor pops free, makes the catch against Dillingham to the logo, drops it down. Mo Garcia, couple of pump fakes, puts it up on Evisic, can't finish, but he gets fouled by the big 7 2 center, and he'll get to the line for a pair. And when you have experienced guards, even though you're closing out to chase them off the three-point line, those guys are smart enough to get in the paint, draw the defense, and make that nice bounce pass. Garcia has been a problem. Alex puts up a sandwich in a drink. Kentucky, but with many teams because of his effort, his energy level, and he's a great offensive rebounder. 
Almost four and a half offensive rebounds per game. He finished the regular season as the SEC leader in that department, and he knocks down the first of two free throws. The stretch A&M's lead to five at 15 to 10. Kentucky led it one nothing. A&M hit a three to grab a two-point lead. The Aggies haven't trailed since. One more for Anderson Garcia from Mocha in the Dominican Republic. He fires front rim, back rim and off. And the That's rebound good. collected by Trey Mitchell. Transfer from West Virginia underneath for Kentucky. Out front, Rob Dillingham, the electric scorer. Pick and pop with a visage. Left of the circle out front. Had it knocked away from behind by Garcia. Tried to knock the ball free, but giving up some size. And with those long arms, Avisic had it high over his head. And he got there on the you go. Nugget. Let's go. So it's the first for Garcia, and it's the third on Texas A&M. Kentucky got the ball in. Amaro throws in the random A&M kangaroos. Was trying to make a sub. That's what the whistles. Alex for. really hyping Garcia them sandwiches. Exits. Butterfly, and some Williams basketball. Henry Coleman the third, who's been in and out for Texas A&M. He put up some injury. steak and potatoes. A 6'8", 245 <laughs> senior. Dillingham takes the inbound, launches a three at the top, off the heel, no. Rebounded on the baseline by Trey Mitchell. But A&M's going to get it back here. Mitchell may have landed on the baseline out of bounds. Excuse Happy me, there meet. was a foul on Kentucky. They came across the back to get the rebound. <laughs> So A&M's going to get it back. Kentucky committing its third foul this half. That one's on Mitchell, his first. He would just put out all the members of Mogies. Trying to throw it inside. Shepard bats it back at him. Taylor step back three in the corner. Three in and out. Heartbreak. Let's go. For the Wildcats. They get it ahead to Reeves. Driving to the other end. Right hand floater off the glass. And in for Antonio Reeves. And that's where his game Kentucky got cuts the lead to three with 14.30 to go in the first half. At the rim. 15 12 and Big Blue Nation to its feet here in Nashville. Radford drives into the teeth of the UK defense, flipped it up with a right hand. No, it goes off of him and out of bounds. And it'll go back to Kentucky with 14 19 left. He got in there against Avisic, number one at 7 2. Avisic got a piece of it with the arm and went right back off the chest of Radford and out. So Kentucky's forced to turn over. Now the Cats can tie the game with a three. 14-14 left in the chance of go big blue butterfly. here at Bridgestone. Mitchell, left wing for the white-clad Wildcats. The Shepard curling off the of ball screen. Can't get a shot outside. Now to Dillingham at the top. Attacks on Washington. Pushes to Shepard. Drives baseline on Coleman. Finds a Visage down the lane. Had it stripped away from stripped. him by Coleman. Here come the Aggies right to left. Washington, right wing. Drives in. Doesn't have a shot. Out to Taylor. Deflected. Turn over. Shep. A foot race to the other end. Shepard wins it. You'll lay it in. Let's go. Great hands by Shepard. He's been good all year. Moving his feet. But also having quick hands and reading the passing lane. 15-14. Kentucky within one. 13 and a half to go in an exciting first half. Taylor hey, you're responding to the emojis, absolutely. That went high off the glass. They miss it. Here comes the Kentucky the looking for the lead. Reeves in the lane, swings it out Hit right that. wing. Dillingham fakes, drives, lobs it up for Mitchell, makes the catch, spins to his left, left hand, bank shot is good, and Kentucky goes in front. 16-15, the Cats lead for the first time since it was one to nothing. A&M gets it into front court and Radford asks for a timeout. Fans on their feet here at Bridgestone Arena. Kentucky on a 6-0 run in the last minute and a half. And they've done it with their defense, haven't they, Tony? Yes, they have. Great hands, rim protection, and just being able to finish at the basket. But a team that has a lot of scoring and firepower. So even though they're down 8 to 10 points, they can get back in the game quickly. Yeah, we only got 25 up in here. You can spam the hell of, out of the chat all night long. The last 204, they Beat them Aggies as butterfly. Run after Kentucky hit a free throw to take the early lead, let it eight to one. That was you the are so inclined. The spam the chat with those half. emojis all and night. Current six zero spurt for UK. Please continue to interact and with the heart. Really the one hundred to celebrate the in the bottom lower hand corner at sixteen to fifteen with thirteen oh seven left in the first half. Dillingham, Reeves, Shepard, Evisa. Betting is still open. Who will win? The choices for John are team. Wildcats Washington, or Aggies. A G G I E S. Taylor and Manny Obasiki for Buzz Williams Aggies. 
Todd Austin will hand the ball to Wade Taylor, who'll play it in at the 28-foot line left side. The Aggies attack the hoop to our right, trying to retake the lead with a basket this trip. Here's Taylor against Shepard. Makes the turn, gets to the baseline, stop and go dribble, gets to the low block, kicks it out. Washington three, rattles in, and AM's back in front. Kentucky in a hurry. They move it through the air to Reeves. Left side in front court. AM leads it by two, 18-16. At the top, Mitchell makes a contested catch. Hands you were hitting Reeves, Lakers, Vikings, Kings. The screen from Mitchell, a collision down low. Washington draws a charge. And the Aggies Arch calls on the Wildcat. That was a good call. Strong drive. Got to come, uh, come to a jump stop and make that play. But you got to give Texas a and so much credit. They guard boxes and elbows. RM checks in the chat. What's up, RM? Johnny Owens. Antonio Reeves with his putting first up the Dodgers emojis. Fourth on Kentucky. Taylor will exit for AM after a quick start with eight points, a pair of threes. And Boots Radford replaces him in the lineup. It's Radford, Obasaki, Garcia, Washington, and Hayden Hefter, shooter from Nederland, Texas, checks in. He's in the right corner in the offensive half. Out front, Obasaki off the screen all the way to the 10 for a right hand lay in. Way too easy. Kentucky got the lead, and then a and responds to, play the college station, taking a big push them up to the push lane, the lead back out to four. A driving lane. Kentucky with the ball down four, 20 to 16, 12, 15, and counting first half. Dillingham driving on Hefner. Hefner leans his body into the Kentucky freshman, and Hayden Hefner will pick up his first and number four on the Aggies in the first half. A tough matchup for Hayden Hefner against a guy who could move like Rob Dillingham. Isn't Wayne it? and Rerun yes, are going to come by of, soon. Of I hope so. And that's the one that Dillingham has hope so. in his favor. Shepard with a side out plays it into Dillingham for Kentucky. Drives down the left lane line, collides with Washington, who knocks the ball free. And Texas AM. Another gets turnover by the Wildcats. To Radford. Spots for three. Right wing off the front. Iron Wide goes, open. Rebounded by Dillingham. Dillingham, Dillingham though, gets the rebound. The rim, flips it over his head with the left hand, short, no good. Rebounded by the Aggies. Radford driving left to right on a Vesic, puts it up, no. Shepard with the rebound, back and forth we go. Shepard into the offensive <laughs> half, driving on Obasaki and has to circle out right wing. Hits Wagner, he attacks, down low, Mitchell puts it up, scores. They will wave it off, an offensive foul, and Texas A&M wow. will get it back. The charge is called. Wagner commits the charge, his first. That's Kentucky's fifth. And we have a timeout, a track meet in the last few minutes. 11.38 to play in the first half. Texas A&M 20, Kentucky 16 on the SEC Radio Network. Words to savor from Johnsonville. Pythagoras, Archimedes, Newton. Brilliant mathematicians, we get it. But none of them were ever considered tongsmen. Take a grilling grate chock full of meat. How the tongsmen can see angles and create surface area for more sausage. From good mm. times. Geometric genius. He's already there with me. The Johnsonville sausage. Calling all tongsmen. Official sausage of the SEC. Billy You're Body Wash is Val's personal favorite because he made me watch that commercial. Billy SEC Body Wash? I don't know what that is. SEC fans, are you ready for some I'm kind fun? of rooting for Kentucky, Academy Bob. Sports and Outdoors has everything you need to rep your college team and enjoy the great outdoors. Stop by your local Academy store and shop Houston online at Academy.com for Tech game day five. essentials. From jerseys and fleece to caps and tees. Plus, get Nike, Carhartt, Under Armour, Adidas, and more top brands for less. Backed by our best price guarantee. And Academy has all you need for camping, hiking, hunting, fishing, and running. Oh, that's Academy right. Sports What's happening? Outdoors Good times was a uh, retailer of the SEC. Yeah, you're right. Bring it in, team. Listen, T-Mobile has 5G home internet across the SEC for just 50 bucks a month with any voice line. And I heard there's no exploding bills. That's a great deal. Stream your SEC team with T-Mobile 5G home internet for just 50 bucks a month with auto pay at any voice line. Check availability at T-Mobile.com slash SEC Wi-Fi. After $10 monthly bill credit with any nationally available postpaid voice line, qualifying credit required. Regulatory fees included in price for qualified accounts plus $5 per month without auto pay. Debit or bank account required. $35 connection charge applies. Then my finals become, begin tomorrow. Early in the morning. That Mississippi State Auburn game will be at Texas 10 my time. Kentucky 20-16 here at the SEC tournament yeah, in Nashville. And 
So Tony, this Kentucky, this if Kentucky A&M advances tonight or A&M, they'll downhill, play hill And it's done a couple late of things tomorrow. for them against Kentucky early. It's provided some easy looks at the rim, but it's I'm also sure set about. up their outside shooters. Hey. Absolutely. When you can start the game out making three-point shots and, and the other team know they have to chase you off the line, that you're making them from the outside, it's going to open up driving lanes. And when you have fours and fives that can make threes, it stretches the court. So they know they're great at getting downhill, getting to the foul line, but give them a lot of credit for not settling for threes. Teams take bad threes because now analytics said you have to take more threes, but play your game, and that's what Texas A&M is doing. A&M is punching a little bit above its weight here early from the three-point line for the season. They've shot just under 28% as a team. You remember the white they're shadow. Five of nine from three to start this game. That's the difference right now. Obasiki with the ball for the Aggies in black, attacking the hoop to our right. Midway through the clock, goes right off a of Washington screen. Inside against Mitchell, flipped it up with the left hand. No, there's an offensive board for Anderson Garcia. That is what he does well. Shot clock down to eight. The shot didn't hit the rim. Radford spinning left on a V6, flips it up short. No, but he gets fouled by Kentucky on the drive. It won't be a Visage. It'll be Edwards who Fourth picks quarter up the sports foul. Checks into the chat, says Bet UK Wildcats, 20,000. And it will send Boots Radford to the line to shoot twice. Kentucky has to find someone on the defensive glass, or should I say offensive glass, that can match Garcia's emotions and also his energy level. He is a multiple effort offensive rebounder. Here's the first free throw for Radford, and that one is home. The crowd is booing, not because of the foul call, but because they thought Radford took advantage of an extra step on that drive, trying to get around Zavonimir Avisic. 21 to 16, a five-point lead for Texas A&M. One more here for Radford, who shot 71% at the line this year, and he swishes that one. Five first-half points for Tyrese Radford, the 6'3", 190 graduate student from Baton Rouge. And it's a six-point so Texas A&M has Texas pushed the lead back out to six to points with 11-11 remaining in this right first half. For Kentucky in white here, the higher seed, the two seed. Gets it on the right wing to Mitchell, who makes a contested catch. And Big Zig now just doomed those of us right that bet here. on Kentucky. Shot down to 15, Kentucky <laughs> trailing by six. What's up, JJ? Between the circles, DJ Wagner. Around to Edwards, to Shepard. JJ, Open ain't you supposed to be over there in Grover Street? For Reed Shepard. Can't give him airspace either. One of those players that if he's open, he's automatically will take that shot. Gonna win tonight. I lost big earlier. This is Big Zig. You, me too, bro. <laughs> I lost 100K. And it's swatted off the window by Bradshaw. Hefner there to pick it up for A&M. And he floats it in with the right hand. 24-19. We're have to eat at Texas Roadhouse. And they get rewarded. Shepard, three, left in a circle. That one goes in. Shepard, Shepard let's go, baby. He's got eight here in the first half. 24-22, he's pulled the catch to within a hoop with 10-10 and counting to go in the first. Radford to the elbow, pull up 15-footer right side, no. Carter bats it out of there, anybody's ball on the right baseline, still loose. Garcia hits the deck, Mitchell dives in for Kentucky. They tie up and the arrow will give it back to the Aggies. 10 minutes to play in the play half. next in Korea, RM, Texas A&M next gets week. it back, leading by two, 24-22, but some high-intensity basketball, Tony. Absolutely. When the <laughs> shot goes up, Kentucky has to have all five players go in and try to get their offensive rebound. As you stated earlier, Texas A&M is not a great shooting team, so when the ball goes up, their best offense is going in and getting the offensive rebound. Anderson Garcia came off the bench, mind you. He's already got five rebounds in the first 10 minutes of this game in reserve. He takes the inbound left corner. Out to Boots Radford. High and wide on the left side. Radford dribbles across the court. Left to right. Reed Shepard guarding him. Taylor's back in. Makes the catch to the top. Fires a three and swishes it. Taylor with 11 in the first half. A hot start for him. 27-22 A&M by 5. 9.39 for the half. Shepard between the rings. Stands oh, I don't remember if it's Thursday or, or Wednesday or I don't remember, bro. 20th, 21st. They're scheduled on the home page. Edwards, three at the top, bounces on the heel, no. Tap back up by Fierro, no. And Solomon Washington scheduled on the home page. defensive board for Texas A&M. Up to Taylor, 28 feet away. Left Pretty side, sure it's a border hand. collie, Goes between like a tight dog. Here's a deep three. That one's off the back rim. A 30-footer, and the rebound taken by Kentucky. 
on the drive. Wagner into the front court for the Cats. Down the left lane line. Threw it over the rim with the right hand. Rebound batted out to Washington. AM's running with numbers. Taylor <laughs> driving on How do you miss the free throw that man? Oh my god. By Fierro, but it was on the way down. Goaltending is Goaltending called on Kentucky. Seven left. AM will stretch its lead to 29 22. As you as you saying, Taylor got a new Xbox headset. And once you see one man back as a guard, you know you have one guy to beat. And even though there's backline help, the backline help cannot stop you when you're driving in transition. Great job of attacking. So you have to give them a lot of credit on how they're attacking in transition. Well, Tony, you said he had 31 against Kentucky in College Station back on the 13th of January. He's almost halfway there in the first half tonight. We still got 8:50 to go. Shepard for Kentucky with the Cats down seven. Drives left of the lane, swings a pass across right lane line. Edwards out front of three is on target. They play inside side out and Wagner yeah. creates a triple. And it's big for Wagner, not known as a three-point shooter. Got his feet set, knocked it down from the outside. 29-25, Kentucky back within four. Taylor out top for Texas A&M. Driving against the taller DJ Wagner inside to Coleman between his sneakers dug get out of there get by it. Kentucky and it's Wagner who kept it alive and gets it out to Thierro to Shepard who'll walk it through the jump circle into the offensive end 809 and counting. Come on, Shepard, work this Shepard fool. at the top, right wing Thierro drives baseline on Radford up and under finds Edwards down the lane missed the left hand layup at point like range and the rebound taken by Texas A&M. Radford in transition past Shepard lays it in with the right hand. Edwards point blank range. Kentucky missing layups, y'all. Kentucky is missing layups. Try to dunk that ball. 31-25. Texas A&M stretches the lead to six. 7:43 left in the half. DJ Wagner high and wide left side for UK. Now to Shepard deep right side. A&M and a man to man. Shepard driving pulls up 15 footer left elbow. Good for Reed Shepard in rhythm and already in double figures with 10. Just being able to get to his spot, mid-range shooter. He can shoot the three from outside, but also he can show you he can put it on the floor. 31-27, a four-point lead for the Aggies with the ball. Taylor with Shepard on his back. Drives down the lane, puts it up over the trees, and gets that one high off the window and in. Wade Taylor with an Kentucky athletic missing drive. Layup. He's got 15 of the 33 Texas for the a &M making him. the first half. Shepard for Kentucky, top of the arc, back door on Yenso, put it down at his waist. It was taken away by Tyrese Radford, but he fouled on Yenso to get it. And Tyrese Radford picks up his first and number five on the Aggies. Intensity at a fever pitch here in Nashville. 702 to play first half. AM trying to pull off the upset, leading Kentucky, the number two seed, 33-27 on the SEC Kingdom, Radio Kingdom, who is your favorite team? Who is your favorite team? Your home for analysis and reaction of ACC teams in the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament is ACC Today. Knocks it down and pumps her fist. Join us weekdays from... All right, it worked last time, y'all. Make it rain in the chat. Make it rain in the chat, y'all. Breaking down the action with ACC basketball experts like Dallin Cup. That team is going to be a tough out. John Henson. Graham was doing them tall flag drills in high school. I believe it. Weekdays from 8 to 11 a.m. Eastern on ACC Radio Channel 371. Daddy! She might be in the bedroom now taking a quick siesta. Big, games, big deals. NFL free agency is here. Sacked, eaten alive, Chris Jones. Hey, have a good one, Big Zig. Have a good stream. Step of the way with the latest news and transactions for all 32 teams. Winning is kind of the ultimate piece. I'm sure Grover won't be far behind you. Find out which players will be signing deals with your favorite team in hopes of bringing home the Lombardi Trophy. Follow Free Agency on NFL Radio Channel 88 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. This is former PGA Tour winner Smiley Kaufman, host of The Smiley Show, a Sirius XM podcast. Smiley Kaufman for 61. I've got boots on the ground at every major tournament, which means each week I'm bringing you insights straight from the course and conversations with my friends on the PGA Tour. Because what's better than golfing with your buddies? Listen to The Smiley Show right now on the SXM app, available with all trials and popular plans. Or Some cheerleading you girl podcasts. stories that That's would blow the mind, says Summer Robe. Holy G. 
Don't miss the all-new Rise and Shine, a Sirius XM podcast. This is Adam Shine. Every Wednesday morning, we're going to make you remember why you love sports. The crack of the bat, the smell of the grass, the thrill <laughs> of the buzzer beer, by the, the heroes, asses. the underdogs, what? the moments you remember forever. Join me, Bob Stu, and the most interesting guests in sports. I played sports till I was 15 and, and concentrated Download on theater. Rise and Shine right now on the SXM app. Available with all trials and popular plans. Dragon Kingdom is another one of those. I am a Texas Tech team. How about your? How they play. They can knock down Doug Smothers in the house. Taylor is great getting to the rim, finishing over big, coming down, feeling confidence in his transition game. You have to be there and not give him any airspace. And then you have Reed, who has done an excellent job of just being poised, making the right play. And when you have a player like Reed, he runs the offense. He gets guys involved, but also he needs to be a little selfish every once in a while and get himself more shots. Well, and you and I are talking in the break, okay? A&M's not the only team that's had a problem trying to figure out how do you take him away. If you're Buzz Williams, how do you limit his touches right now? Because he's clearly in rhythm out there. Oh, he is. When you have a player in rhythm, you got to tell players you got to stay at home and just th- pay attention to him, not worry about anyone else. Just Shepard me up and smoke. It was right just me. I could have gone pro. So who botched the handoff. It's batted in backcourt by Radford, lying on his back. Shepard dives in, trying to tie him up, and Reed Shepard's going to get called for a foul. Shepherds first. That's the seventh on Kentucky, and it means AM will shoot the bonus for the last 6.57 of the half. So Radford will walk to the line to our right. Already two out of two at the foul line in this game. And he'll shoot one plus one with his team leading by six. And he did shoot it well at College Station from the foul line. Um, but right now, what I'm like seeing Kurt Russell, I act and play ball. Texas and the team in black is. Aggressive hand. How about that dude so that used to play uh, on, to, on SWAT? With it. They're reaching in and grabbing, and the referee's going to let him play. Here's the free throw. He, he was an El Segundo Bradford, alumni. Three, three to start at the foul line. He's got eight and he played a sports and did acting. 34-27, the Aggies in front. Solomon Washington has returned for Buzz Williams' team. Is the Mississippi State logo up? Levesque. Mods! Second one on the way, and that one is good for Radford. Four for four start at the foul line for the graduate student Moderators. from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. 35-27, biggest lead for the Aggies, and Obasaki gets a steal at the half line, throws it down the lane. Washington up and under with a right hand, and he scores. Solomon me Washington that. takes advantage of the turnover. His first basket. It's a 37 27 like lead don't care. for Texas AM and a delay of game warning. Who asked me if I, if I had the logo up? After that lay in by Washington. <laughs> and it just have to be focused. That was a play call. And I, you know, Kentucky has to do a much better job of taking care of the ball. That's been a problem early in this game. They got to clean up. Up in smoke was the one that finally let me know. For a breather. <laughs> Cats have the ball attacking the hoop to our left. Rob Dillingham gets it to Mitchell at the free throw line and a double team. He coughs it up. Obasaki. They gave me traveling. 622 and counting for the first. A 10 point lead. Here's a deep three for Taylor. That one's no good from 30 feet. Rebound picked up by Wagner for Kentucky. Wagner angling right. Finds Dillingham at the top. Turns on the Jets. Finds on Yenso for the two hand stop. Climb it. And this pace. Plays that can tuck a favor, but they got to figure out how to get stopped on the defensive end and make them take tougher shots. <laughs> Once the shot goes up, defensive rebound the ball. 37 29, AM with the ball. Radford just inside, or excuse me, Obasiki just inside the art left wing with those flowing dreadlocks. Goes between the legs, trying to find space. Steps back for a jumper over Mitchell from 18. No, Onyenso got the rebound, but a foul on Kentucky. On the rebound, Reeves shoved his man out of the way, and Antonio Reeves has picked up number two, and that's the eighth on Kentucky in the half with 5.42 left. John Calipari and Doug Shows having a heated discussion. Oh, they they might have gone and, and hit the some nap zone, Theo. Across from us here at Bridgestone Arena. She said she might take a little post to make work week back nap. Inside the box. Radford's about to go back to the line to shoot one and plus. Four isn't here either, and Trying it's just past his dinner time. Back to double digits if he can make them both as Reeves goes off with the second foul, and Fierro returns. Radford fired. Front rim, glass, and off. He missed the front end, and the rebound taken by the Wildcats. Up to Dillingham. 
angling left. Garcia hedges to keep him outside the arc. Left wing Wagner drives, pitches to Shepard for three, bingo! You cannot leave him. The one player you can't leave on the court is Shepard shooting over 50%. Strong left hand drive, corner pocket. 13 for Reed in the first half, three threes. Taylor on the drive, floats it up over Kentucky's Wagner. That one off glass, no good. Rebounded by Dillingham with a head of steam down the right lane line on Washington. Eight foot runner off the glass and in. Dilly oh. Dilly, he's got seven, and it's 37 34. 458 to go, first half. It is a very pro Kentucky, Kentucky has cut it to three. Except a pocket of maroon right behind the AM bench. Radford drives down the right lane line, hooks to Washington, open three left corner, and a big answer for wow. Washington, his first triple tonight. Kentucky can live with Solomon Washington taking three. Gillingham, three for the answer at the top off the right edge, no, and the rebound tapped out to Taylor. That feel a little quick to you? That was quick. He didn't give his uh, defensive players a chance to go to the offense and lead uh, to the board. Taylor working against Wagner out front for a &M. They've had an answer every time Kentucky's made a push. They get it to Obasiki down the right lane line. Blocked by Fierro on his way to the 10. Kentucky's got it with numbers. Fierro into the lane up with the right hand. Garcia skies in. Swats it off the window with the right. a and running. Taylor spot three. Right side, yes. No. 18 for Taylor. 43-34, defense turns into offense for the Aggies. 350 and counting for the half. Shepard, high and wide right side to Rob Dillingham, the freshman from Back to nine. Carolina. To Shepard, finds on Yenso in front, turns on Washington, missed the point blank jump hook with the right hand, and Washington grabs the rebound for Texas A&M, slowing the pace now with three and a half to play in the opening 20. Kentucky blowing... Layups, y'all. Obasiki in the offensive half of the jump circle. Sizing up his mark, Rob Dillingham. He looks back over his shoulder at Buzz Williams to get the play call. The shot clock is down to nine. He's a long way from home. Gets to the top of the arc. Spins left to the logo. Kicks in the corner, Radford. Two to shoot. Contested 18-footer. Bingo! At the buzzer. Just inside the arc. A clutch shot for the man who is tougher than boot leather. And with three minutes left, it's a 45-34 lead on the drive. Here's Wagner. He puts it in with the right hand, and he gets fouled. Forty-five, thirty-four, forty-five, thirty-six. They do. They the keep hitting that three. Kentucky hanging around here, down nine. They keep hitting that three to stem the tide. Some road. You're right. Texas Aggies. Garcia with the foul. That's his second team. The combination six. of we that and Kentucky blowing huge layups the first. A &M when they most Kentucky need them. Thirty-six. This is Miss, this is the SEC Radio Network. SEC fans, are you ready for some fun? Academy Sports and Outdoors has everything you need to rep your college team and enjoy the great outdoors. Stop by your local Academy store and shop online at academy.com for game day essentials. From jerseys and fleece to caps and tees. Plus, get Nike, Carhartt, Under Armour, Adidas, and more top brands for less. Backed by our best price guarantee. And Academy has all you need for camping, hiking, hunting, fishing, and running. Academy Sports and Outdoors is the official sporting goods retailer of the SEC. Back to Nashville for more SEC basketball action after this on the SEC Radio Network. Some say New York had the greatest lineup ever back in 27. Though Woodstock in 69 was pretty spectacular. And then there was Chicago in 98. But perhaps the most impressive ever is the full line of Mercedes-Benz electric vehicles. Choose from a growing list of models, like the versatile EQB, the stunning EQS, or the roomier EQS SUV. Go to your local dealer or MBUSA.com to learn more. Mercedes-Benz, official vehicle of the SEC. We know that sport has the power to change lives on and off the field. But today, the majority of kids in the U.S. are no longer playing sports. As the leader in he field likes athletes, 550 Gatorade is views. to helping reverse this trend and creating positive change across our communities. That's why Gatorade has launched Fuel Tomorrow, a new multi-year initiative to help everyone have equal opportunity to play sports and realize their potential. Learn more about Gatorade's commitment to break down barriers and help millions of kids get into the game by visiting Gatorade.com slash community.
259 left in the first half. Man, I mean, this thing has been action-packed. Texas A&M leading Kentucky 45-36. to 36. Tony, Kentucky averages almost 90 points per game, and you were talking in the break that you like the pace because you think ultimately it'll favor Kentucky in their depth down the stretch, but A&M averages 74 points per game. They're already at 45 right now because they have been unreal at the offensive end. And you got to think about this game is about styles. Can you play half court? Can you play transition? Can you play up-tempo? They've had a chance to play against a lot of different styles during the course of the regular season. That is Texas A&M in black. And Kentucky, they want to play this style. They want to get up and down the court. But with the problem... Now here food going in right the bowl now, for Thor. Texas A&M is getting too many clean looks from the three-point line. And clean looks mean guys are filling it. And once you see one go through the net, now everyone has confidence. And that's what we're seeing from the, from the, uh, a team that traditionally is not a great three-point shooting team. They're confident now. Edwards, Avisic, Shepard, Wagner. You're not Dillingham having the thing in the corner, Theo, or Kentucky what? Kentucky here. Wagner <laughs> will be at the free throw line, and he'll shoot one. Remember, he made the basket on the foul from Garcia to take us to the timeout. Theo be feeling left out, y'all. DJ Wagner eyes the mark. Right-hander fires, and he knocks down the free throw. He's got six points in this first half. Three-time New Jersey Gatorade Player of the Year in high school. A&M with it. They get it to Obasiki, deep left of the circle. Now out front to Boots Radford. Radford at the top, working against Edwards. Drives. Edwards can't keep moving his feet fast enough, and he leans his body into Radford to pick up a foul. That's been the knock on Kentucky. Defense hasn't been consistent for them. Really Rogers and checks in, guys, says Duval went back the to the Braves. Piece. They're not used to having to stay in that stance and move Welcome like you back, have to at the college level, are they? Well, all these guys, you think about coming into college, all these guys were really good offensive players. Yes. The offense was defense. And it all right, 244 two remaining in this first half. half. 30, uh, it's a 45 37. They don't have that much time. They have over Kentucky. to figure it out. Radford hits the front end of the one and one. But these are two tough guards, uh, Radford and Taylor, to contain off the bounce. Not only can Texas been struggling with them, the whole league has struggled trying to yeah, guard Val ain't going to get dinner. And it gets even worse. Oh, no, she's up. Threes. Now they put even more pressure on I think, them. for and me, it's simple round. tonight. Front rim, back rim, and out. Rebound tapped out to Shepard. Right the lane for I think UK. they're going to have some up salmon and Top something. I don't know, Wayne rice or something. And I'm going to just have some fish sticks. Over Washington and banks it in. Rob Fishy stickies. Quick first step. He can 50, get to the fish sticks. 46 39. Texas AM. About three quarters of a plate. This first half. Out top. It's Manny Obasiki. Down the left lane. Huh? Line goes up. A Visich and Thierro there for the tandem. Board. Fill it up and but then a take a quarter of, of a mountain and put it His back in first. the bag. That's the 10th on Kentucky. And Manny Obasiki will go to the line, and that is the identity of Texas A&M, Tony. Downhill drivers get to the free. You don't like salmon, y'all. Do you guys like salmon? Doing a horrible job of is coming down. You have to go vertical against guys driving downhill, and if, when you go vertical, you put it on the referee. But now when you go slap down, the referee is automatically going to see that Catch and up. make that call, and Kentucky got to be able to contain the bounce. Obasiki hadn't attempted a free throw tonight. Just under 55%. Two days left, or two uh, two more Fridays in Lynn, y'all. Around and off the right edge. A&M has been to the foul line Luna now salad and wheat crackers from Butterfly. Half. That's twice as many as Kentucky. And here's the second free throw for Manny Obasiki from Alabama, Some road Texas. reminiscing Six, four, about days pounds. gone by. John Paul the second. Fire, good. So he makes one out of two. He's got six points in the half. Dara loves some salmon. Johnny loves salmon. A and M by eight. Butterfly says baked salmon only or fried salmon patty. A double team, deep left rear in the offensive half. Across to Rob Dillingham on the right wing, working against Solomon Washington in rhythm dribble. Pitches to Shepard, catch and shoot three left wing, short, no good, and the rebound collected by Washington inside for the Aggies. To Wade Taylor, the fourth, wearing number four as he brings it across the 10 second line. Shepard picks him up in Kentucky. I am done. Goes to right some road. High pick from Coleman. Throws left corner. Washington spots for three. Short. Val has catch up often. Glad he doesn't put it on the salad. Murray right to left. <laughs> Driving on Taylor goes past. Puts it up with a right hand. Shep. No. Taylor got him on the drive. And with 136 left, Reed Shepard's going to go to the free throw line. 
But Taylor's first free or Taylor's first foul, team seven. Sorry, Tony. Hey, what I love about Texas A&M big, they will chase down blocks. They do not give up on plays. And most time when a guard is out ahead of the field, bigs are jogging. Dave, I'm not a seafood fan. Catch Reed up his Shepherd kings to some road. Foul shooter. Had catfish, his fries, and hush puppies. Good. To only be 18, 19 years old, <laughs> Homemade it's hard Doug. to find a weakness in his game it right is. now. I mean, he's, he's a poised guy running the option. Second free throw rattles out. I spoke too soon. He made one of two. He is human. Butterfly says that you not like 40. fish, but has a fishy and taste. gets the rebound. They've got a seven-point lead. We're inside the final 90 seconds of the first half from America's Music City. Obasiki driving in out of Visage. Kicks left corner, Washington. He's taken a couple from out there, but Dillingham with a closeout prevents him from another. To Radford, deep left rear, eight to shoot. Radford with a headband, goes by Avisic to the rim, up and under left hand, couldn't finish. Avisic absolutely Here you go, Avisic. altered Watch that, that shit. And DJ Wagner gets the rebound. Crossover dribble, gets it to Avisic. Foul line extended right to Shepard, down the lane, gets to the logo, out to Wagner straight away. Outside the three-point line, driving on Coleman, left-hand runner, no. Washington there to get the rebound, and Thierro puts him on the deck. And Adu Thierro will pick up his second. Kentucky is over the limit in this first half, and that's going to put AM back at the free-throw line for two more, trying to build on this seven-point edge late in the first half. Henry Coleman's first foul. Or excuse me, not Coleman. Coleman wound up on the deck. I'm sorry, Thierro's second foul. And Washington will shoot. Solomon Washington with five first-half points from New Orleans, Louisiana. This one rattles and falls off the heel. No good. I missed it. Kentucky makes a change. The arrow exits after that second foul. And I love fish, I Stephen shrimp, had a great crabs, and lobster. John Calipari I do not eat shrimp. They are the roaches of the sea. He's done down the stretch in this five-game win streak <laughs> for UK. He said, I won't play a guy with two fouls in the first half, and he's true to it here, taking the arrow out. It depends on who that player is. Here's Washington second. Right-hander fires, and he knocks that one. Better probably be one bougie, y'all. 48-40, a and by eight. Dillingham for Kentucky at the top. Gets it to Mitchell, left wing. Back out to Dillingham, deep left rear. Goes right off an Avisic screen. Hooks to Wagner straight away. Big Z holding his hands up in there. They can't get it to him in the lane. Wagner to the elbow down the right lane line. Puts it up contested against Washington. Blocked it back at him with two hands. Shepard gets it at the top to Dillingham, right corner. Seven to shoot up with the right hand. Couldn't get it to crawl over the rim, but he gets fouled. I like the adjustment that Texas A&M have made. All right, Dillingham so 28.8 seconds, seconds to go in the first the half. It's 48-40. Texas A&M over Kentucky. Kentucky at team. the charity stripe, 4-2. Rob Dillingham has a chance to get into double figures with two free throws here with 28.8 left in the opening 20 minutes. Right-hander turns it loose. Good rotation. That one's home. Another good foul shooter, 78% for the year. He's got 10 in the first half. 49. I'm watching them Bruce Lee movies again. Texas A&M. 53 in the house. That's our high for today. For Kentucky on the front line. Boy, Hit that nice like. It's free. You can replace 7-2 with 7 foot at that 5 spot. Hit that they like. If you don't want to participate in the chat, y'all. I mean, if you're not a person that wants to participate in the chat or hit likes to reward the work, maybe this place ain't for you. Maybe you need to go to Grover's channel. Shot you have another clock one? is off with 22 seconds <laughs> to play until recess. <laughs> Radford out front against Reed Shepard, the freshman of the year. Radford. Tear up some court. Dug out by Taylor in front of John Calipari. He'll launch a three. Off the left edge, no. Weak side rebound, Dillingham. Seven seconds left. Crosses the timeline, trying to find space against Coleman. Gets to the baseline, kicks it out right corner. A three on the way from Wagner. Off the heel at the horn, and that's how the first 20 minutes comes to All right, a so close we go to halftime, 48-42. Six-point lead for a and by one very early. An 8-0 run gave them a seven-point lead. They have not Let's bring up the box score for you to peruse. Kentucky, the number two seed in the tournament at the break, 48-42. Tony, your thoughts on the first half? Great first half by Texas A&M. Guards got downhill, was able to knock down some threes from the outside, had a lot more energy and effort. 
on the defensive side as well as the offensive side. Kentucky has to do a better job of containing Texas A&M off the bounce. AM leads it at the break, 48-42. No one is Stephen less fine Hartzell dining than Bow. What else has happened at What's the tournament mean? today? Have some first half notes for you and a whole lot more with halftime activities from Bridgestone in a moment. 48-42, AM in front of Kentucky. This is the SEC radio. All right, y'all, but welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. If God hadn't meant for us to eat pigs, why would he have put pork chops and bacon in them? Exactly. Do you own a jacket or a tie? I have all that. I don't know if any of it fits, but I have all that shit, bro. I have all that stuff. All the dress clothes from when I worked in the car biz. RM knows his Bible. You are what you eat, says Butterfly. Like a grilling grate chock full of meat. How the tongsman can see angles and create surface area for more sausage? Mm. Look at, look, listen, right there, like on cue on the radio, they're talking about cutting up pig. Calling all tongsmen. Official sausage of the SEC. You're listening to the SEC <laughs> men's basketball tournament. A shot from three, nothing but net. On the SEC radio network. Starting, who do you think will win? So far, the unbeatable duo of Sunkiss Soda Watermelon Lemonade is in the lead. The taste is like a sip of sunshine. I I'm talking about the SEC College Basketball Tournament. Yeah, me too. Sunkiss Soda is an official sponsor, but with so many flavors like berry, lemonade, and peach, I can't decide which flavor will win. <laughs> yeah, okay, but what about your pick to win the game? Nah, I'll just focus on my Sunkiss mm. Sodas for flavors. Piggies get fed, hogs get <sighs> slaughtered. Enjoy all the games with all the refreshing fruit flavors of Sunkiss Soda, an official sponsor of the SEC. And if you want to grab a snack, grab a farm rich snack. You are not the boss of me, Butterfly. You are not the boss of me. Well, any requests? Let's just time you out. Mozzarella sticks instead. Folks, it's time for me to grab a snack. Feel free to do the same. You can find farm rich in the freezer aisle. This next one goes out to all the cheese lovers out there. With 20 minutes in the books, it's halftime on the SEC Radio Network. Brought to you by Farm Rich, the official frozen snack of the SEC. Grab a snack. Stats, analysis, and scores are all coming up. Now back to Nashville. All right, we're at halftime. Kentucky trailing Texas A&M 48-42 in the quarterfinal round. We'll get to highlights. We'll get to scores. We'll get to all that stuff. We're pleased to be joined courtside by all state. Salvador SEC Chavez is in the house. What's up, Salvador? Coach, so good to see you. You're honored at midcourt, standing ovation yes. from the Big Blue Faithful. How much does that mean to you here it in Nashville? It means a lot. I'd like to be leading right now, but, you know, I'm sure that they're going in there. I'm sure that John Calipari and his staff, you know, and there's no panic. You're going to be fine. You And I know we were labeled the comeback cats the year we won in 98. And I tell well, just I listen to this, y'all. This is what kind of gutless POS Grover is. He literally did a Kentucky Texas A&M stream today, knowing that Clippers versus Pelicans was going to start at 5:30. He has now turned off and deleted his Kentucky Texas A&M stream. His second deleted stream well, of the day but, uh, just the people, the people and is now fans. live I mean, for is, Pelicans Clippers there, you can't to take on Big Zig. The Big Blue Nation what a buster. How much they what an absolute buster. I mean, there's just nothing like it in college basketball. You know, you might see it in football in Alabama or something like that, but, but not in, in college basketball. This is, this is the pinnacle of of college basketball, Kentucky basketball. Is it tough to be away from the game? I know you were coaching at High Point yeah. not that long ago. Is it is it tough not to be back in that locker room right now? Absolutely. It's just one of the, the things that you cherish most, being around those young people. They keep you young. It, the engagement and the fans as well. I love being a part of this whole college 
basketball atmosphere. And, and there's no, no better place to raise your family or even because they are family of players in that type of setting on a college campus. Tubby Smith, All-State SEC legend, kind enough to talk to us. Coach, you, congratulations. Steve. Enjoy Appreciate this week in Nashville. Thank you. There you go. That is our All-State SEC legend, Went Tubby to Smith. find my suit. I found out I had no pants and had to go to, to Amazon fast. Stuff coming up on the other side of this well, timeout. <laughs> 48-42, Texas A&M with the yeah, lead He's Kentucky. literally attacking my channel, bro. He was trying to kill my Radio channel. Network. This is Brandon Marshall, a.k.a. The Beast from I Am Athlete. And this is Ashley Nicole Moss. Every weekday, hear us talking sports. Hey, I, I wish I knew where he lived. I wish. Out on the I Am Athlete I podcast wish. Feed. There isn't anybody who has a chemistry quite like myself and Brandon Marshall. That's what makes all of these shows great is the personalities. Check us out every weekday on YouTube or download Paper Route as part I knew he was going to do it, too. That's the funny part. I absolutely knew. As soon as I posted that I was doing this game today last Last night, 10 Once minutes, year, he posts that he's going to do it as well. Analysts get together to <laughs> and I knew that he wouldn't last past the half. And fantasy sports radio <laughs> it's unbelievable. I mean, I... <laughs> all the action, learn Every one of his tags on his video description was copied from my video description. He's just a straight-up buster. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern on Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Yeah, he's a bitch, all right. He is a straight-up bitch. Baby back bitch. for some fun? Academy Sports and Outdoors has everything you need to rep your college team and enjoy the great outdoors. Stop by your local Academy store and shop online at academy.com for game day essentials. From jerseys and fleece to caps and tees. Plus, get night And the worst part is YouTube is pushing his crap. For less. They're literally price, pushing his crap. And Academy has all you need for camping, hiking, hunting, fishing, and running. Academy Sports and Outdoors is the official sporting goods retailer. No, you can't copyright uh, descriptions. Nobody yeah, protects baby. you from mayhem like Allstate. I'm the valet at the game, and I'm as tight on cash as this lot is on space. Yeah, he's he's so, some 35-year-old dude. Some 35-year-old dude. Ain't had pussy since pussy had him. The right auto insurance, this might leave you crunched for cash. So get Mom makes him Hot Pockets all day long. Protected from mayhem like me. Who's next? Savings vary. Based on covered selected. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. You're listening to the SEC Men's Basketball Tournament on the SEC Radio Network. Time now for the Regions Scoreboard Update. Regions, official bank of the SEC. He told his chat, you know, he doesn't appear on camera. He just has a nodder that goes off, a, pic, a video of him nodding Steven repeatedly. He told his chat that he was a hard-working truck driver. And he just ran the streams while he was driving his truck in Los Angeles. <laughs> that bitch ain't got time to drive no truck. <laughs> We'll check the scoreboard. We'll tell you about everything else going on in the college hoops world. It is a loaded. He Friday ain't driving no truck. From coast to coast. But first, we'll listen back to highlights from the opening 20 minutes. Frenetic pace to start this one. No one came out of the gates faster or hotter than the all-SEC first teamer, Wade Taylor the fourth, who was unafraid to pull the trigger in the early going. Wade Taylor, pull up three in transition. That one's good. That's where he's dangerous. Doesn't say much about the folks that Wade hang Taylor out in streams either, though. Early threes. Doesn't that say much earned, about them either. Taylor scored a quick eight points. Are, are these people too Aggies dumb to find the radio on the, the internet or something? Or Kentucky would respond with some long-range shooting of their own. <laughs> what is Rob going on? Starting to heat up. <laughs> Dillingham for Kentucky at the top. Absolutely, Summer. Oh, absolutely. Washington goes. Rob Dillingham from deep. This game was off to a wildly. He does an entire start. stream, gets maybe 20 com comments in the chat. With a scoring spurt of their own to get back within a score. But then AM came right back to push the lead to seven, thanks to Tyrese Radford. Gets it into the corner. I, I don't know, Theo. I, I don't know who watches it. CeeLo told me he thought they were bots, but I don't think so. He does get interaction in his community page, heavy interaction in his community page, but nobody comments in the chat. It is not a watch party. It is not a, an exchange of an ideas. Uh, there is no laughing. There is no fun. It's literally the a picture, a video of him looking like a moron. 
Reeves on repeat. Right and uh, the stats of the game, the scoreboard and the stats. Trey Mitchell gave Kentucky a lead at 16-15. It would be the last time the Cats would have an advantage on the scoreboard in the first half. Both of the guards of this game, whether it was Wade Taylor or Reed but, Shepard, I mean, those viewers really aren't the viewers I want on this channel anyway. The highlights I, mean, from Wade Taylor. I want people that want to be here, that want to have fun, that want to watch Reed these Shepard sporting events the and, giving the cats a spark. and have some fun. Between the circles, DJ Wagner around to Edwards, to Shepard. Open three left wing, rattles in for Reed Shepard. That was the first of three three-pointers off the bench for Reed Shepard. He leads Kentucky in scoring. Right, I'll be right back, y'all. I'm going to grab a drink. Points. Wade Taylor, the fourth, leads all scores with 18. What a first half of hoops. Not for the faint of heart. A lot of offense. Texas A&M, 48. Kentucky, 42. Reminder that the winner here gets a spot in the semifinals against the winner of our nightcap still to come between Florida and Alabama. Earlier today, we had an upset. Mississippi State blowing out Tennessee 73-56. to And Auburn dispatching of South Carolina 86-55. to So Mississippi State and Auburn are into the semifinals. They will meet here at Bridgestone for the first of two semifinals scheduled for Saturday. Texas A&M Kentucky winner gets uh, the winner of Florida and Alabama still to come later tonight. Looking at some scores from across college basketball, ACC semifinal in Washington, D.C. Pittsburgh leads North Carolina 37 to 35. Big 12 semifinal, Houston on top of Texas Tech, 32-29. That's a halftime score from Kansas City. Earlier tonight in the Big East uh, semifinals, you had UConn holding on for a 95-90 win over St. John's. Purdue beat Michigan State in the Big Ten quarters. They're into the semis in Minneapolis, 67-62 over Sparty. We got a lot of basketball still to come tonight. We'll keep you posted to these scores throughout the evening, but most notably, one of the more eye-popping scores across the country happened in this building earlier today with Tennessee, the top seed in the SEC tournament, getting absolutely blown out by Mississippi State. Wire-to-wire -wire win for the Bulldogs, 73-56. to So the top half of our bracket here in Nashville is set. Still to come, who else is going to be making it to the semifinals? We're going to find out. Start of the second half, just around the corner. Texas A&M leads Kentucky by a half dozen, 48 to 42. Like Neil your Price, YouTube Tony channel, Dell, this is Dragon. With the call of the second half. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, you're going to have to look. I'm not putting them out there. When you live in SEC country, you feel it everywhere you go. The traditions and rivalries surround you. As much as you I'm not going to tell you where he is either, Butterfly. You'll be a mod over there in a week. Wins even more. <laughs> and like SEC fans, we'll never quit. Enter the Dragon because just ended. Fist of Fury world, just started. We're the SEC bank. And Theo says Fist Regents, of Fury is the shiz. Of the SEC. <laughs> Look Remember, at Theo. <laughs> we know that sport has the power to change lives on and off the field. But today, the majority of kids in the U.S. are no longer playing sports. As the leader in fueling athletes, Gatorade is committed to helping reverse this trend and creating positive change across our communities. That's why Gatorade has launched Fuel Tomorrow, a new multi-year initiative to help everyone have equal opportunity to play sports and realize their potential. Learn more about Gatorade's commitment to I'd rather stream to 20 of kids get into than stream to 100 that don't, don't want anything but to listen to the game audio. I'd rather stream to 20. Back to Bridgestone Arena in one minute. This is the SEC Radio Network. Your team shooting so many bricks, you could build a house with them. I should have brought a pillow. Your team is a snooze fest. Your star shooter is a no-show. Listen here. Did you get a COVID-19 shot this fall? No. You still can, because I can't trash talk your face off if you're homesick. That's sweet. Know what else is sweet? Watching you lose. Pfizer and the SEC are teaming up to remind fans that there's still time to get a COVID-19 shot. Learn more and book a vaccine option at ScheduleCovidVax.com, sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. I feel so bad for Big Zig, y'all. I feel so bad for Big Zig. All that work he does on his setups. Is if I could listen to my local broadcasters while watching the game. And this this pound puppy already has 40 in his chat. Synced with TV and radio. Sure did. Do you have a DVR? You bet. Do you have a streaming device? This Muppet has 40 in his chat while Zig sits there with 17. 
and all the work that Zig does to put on a good show on his channel. On the go with CeeLo. Your Bulls did it today, man. And you had a good stream, too. Yeah, your Vols uh, upset, the big upset today. Yeah, no kidding, right? I was ranting big time at the half. About what, buddy? wasn't close. You and I talked about it. Guard play is so important at this time of year, and you got so many good guards in this game, you couldn't help but think that this was going to be a CeeLo been streaming them Tennessee games all year, y'all. And, and I think that puts them in what? The, the semifinals, right? The overtime, Wade Taylor, 31 points, Rafa 28, 69 together. So those two guys can score with any combo in the country. They bring back experience, and Kentucky has to do a much better job of being there on a rival, especially with Taylor. He has it going, and once he gets it going from outside, it's easy for him to get downhill. All right, so Kentucky size inside. All right, here we go. This second half, about to start. Let's pop the team stats. First half. You talked to me about rebounding being important right off the top of the game. A&M's plus two there. I know that's not a big lead, but a smaller team that's out working a larger one on the glass. If Kentucky's we got 21 the likes, thing, 809 views. It, how important is the rebounding stat for them? When the shot goes up, all five guys have to gain rebounds. You just can't rely on your inside players. The guards have to chase down long threes, and the big has to put bodies on their guys and allow those guards to get their uh, offensive, defensive rebounds. That's right. So Tennessee did lose. Defense. I literally did that game. At their best. <laughs> Kentucky will have the I was rooting for them. I lost 100,000 points. <laughs> Trying to will your team to victory, buddy. <laughs> Out top, it's DJ Wagner pounding the left hand dribble to the yeah, We are underway. Manny at the top. Hands it to Reeves, splits a double team to the logo. 10-foot runner, no on Yenso. Taps the rebound out. Left corner, Reeves, catch and shoot three, rattles in. Antonio Reeves, who had to sit with two fouls in that first half. All right, let's go. Quick start here in the second. That's how you Kentucky's open up the second half. Three. Hopefully we'll be the two seeds is on the go. In the half. Taylor down the right lane line. Gets it in the paint to Levesque. Jump hook over on Yenso. Twice on the rim. No. Levesque with the offensive board. And he sticks it back in with the right hand. Wilden's Levesque with his first basket in the game. 40, 50 to 45. And out front, Taylor goes for a steal. Knocking Wagner off his pins. And Wade Taylor... Gets whistled for a foul. His second in the first I guess if you're going to lose, you want to lose just, you know, first half, before uh, before the big dance. Basically trapping those if you got to lose it all. Because if you pain. lose in the big dance, it's over. The 28 foot line on the left side. DJ they were getting Wagner killed. The Down the left lane line finds the arrow cutting back door right hand lay and hangs but won't fall. The arrow does. He got fouled and he'll get to the line for two. Great draw with drawing, kicking, but also Thank you, that dearest. weak side cut. Get yeah, that stacked. Open, and Theoro's trying to finish at the rim. Manny Obasaki with his second personal foul. We about second to have on some Texas fish sticks, Lord. And Adu Thiero goes to the line. Just one point for him in the first half from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 6'8", 222. Right-hander fires, front rim, back rim, and in. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, incidentally, also the home of John Calipari. Wow, I didn't know that. It's a good trivia question. Piero, the great player, see, baby. That's the energy and God's speed off of that. The arrow's second, good rotation. That one's true. All of his points have been at the foul line. He's pulled Kentucky to within three, 50 to 47. AM in front as the big blue faithful come to their feet. Not much of a reveal for dinner Nashville. tonight, y'all. It's just fish Trying sticks. To urge on a defensive stop. <laughs> it's Radford just fish sticks. Up and under left hand. They won't get it this time. Radford goes through the trees, went inside with no fear. Bad collision Yenzo, here. And gets that one to fall, 52 47. Just the toughness of Rafford getting downhill, finishing at the rim over 7 foot and 6 8 the Earl. 52 47. Told you in the first half, he earned the nickname Boots because his coach, Buzz Williams, said he was tougher than boot leather. He showed it there. Mississippi, State, Mississippi uh, State's going to win the tourney. Down the lane, goes in, puts it up with the right hand over Levesque. He can't finish, but Levesque fouls him in front of the 10. First on Wilden's Levesque. 
third on Texas A&M, and Tony, we're starting to see Kentucky get into that downhill driving mode. Well, you he wouldn't allow it, RM. Get down he wouldn't allow it. He's having uh, uh, salmon. Go to the bench. That's a, that is the one weakness that I see with Texas A&M. They don't have the depth of most of the teams like Auburn, right. Tennessee, uh, Kentucky, Florida. Those teams have more depth. The arrow, three out of four wow. at the foul line, knocks down the first on this trip. Kind of a legacy guy. His dad played for John Calipari at Memphis. 52-48, a four-point lead for AM Levesque exits. And Anderson Garcia checks into the game, slapping each hip and then clapping his hands together. What's up, Bob? Bip? Good on the glass in this game. Five rebounds for AM. The arrow second is good. And Adu Fierro has been good at the charity stripe. Five out of six. 52-49, Kentucky keeping the heat on, a three-point lead for AM. and the Aggies have the ball attacking the hoop to our left. Radford crosses over on Edwards, goes in, Edwards swats the shot away with the right hand and sends it into the AM cheerleaders behind the baseline to our left. He got beat off the bounce, but the 6'7", long wingspan allowed him to recover. Taylor will play it in, and this is a tough challenge against Edwards at 6'8", guarding the ball. Comes into Garcia, just inside the arc, right corner. Now to Boots Radford, deep right rear to Taylor. Right wing driving in on Onyenso, leans in, tried to get the ball away, never got it past his hip because Onyenso and Reeves were both there. One of them held his left arm. And if it's Reeves, it's bad news for Kentucky because it would be his third. Remember, y'all, the post is going to go out later three, tonight on the picking your drivers. The in the second half. That'll send Taylor to the line to shoot two. He had a monster, I mean a monster first half. 18 points on 7 of 14 from the floor, including um, four gentleman threes. Gentleman size, prime rib tonight, Val. Just Bob. That was an awful foul by Reeves, who was the fifth-year senior, reaching in, trying to go for the steal. Nice. You have to let him, let your back line defenders take that play on. Kentucky needs him in the game. Wade Taylor is from Dallas, Texas, six foot, 175 pounds. Here's his second free throw. He knocks that one down, makes both the charity shots, and he has 20 already in the game. Had 31 against Kentucky in college. So five point lead still for AM. January. It's a 54 49 lead for Texas AM. And Kentucky brings it left to right in white, trying to find a way to claw back into this one. Two minutes deep into the second half. D.J. Wagner, one bounce between the circles around to Rob Dillingham, who's back in on the left wing. Dillingham gets inside the arc on Obasiki to Fierro. Drives baseline, leveled off by Radford. He stepped on the end line, and it goes out of bounds. Back Damn to it, turnover, Kentucky. 17.55 left. Fierro just ran out of real estate. Trying Taylor to is a beast. On the baseline. So A&M will try to take advantage of the turnover. Number nine for Kentucky. AM's only turned over twice tonight. Taylor pull up three left of the circle. Off the heel, no good. Washington tracks the long rebound for the Aggies out at the Danny top of the Fam, arc. what you got going on tonight, man? What you got going on, Danny Fam? Obasiki, deep right wing against Dillingham. Attack spins left into the paint, puts it up over on Yenso. No good. Rebound swatted out into the AM bench and out of bounds off of Kentucky. It'll be AM's ball. Billy put 5,000 on the Aggies. The energy that Texas A&M is playing with their Kentucky has to match that if they're going to be able to get this lead. But if the way they're playing right now, Texas A&M is out working them. Taylor to play it in. That's a trademark of a Buzz Williams team. Hard work and effort. He calls it culture. Taylor for the Aggies to Obasiki. Right wing driving off a Garcia screen into the rim and he slams it with one hand. Oh my, brought it from the waist all the way up and jammed it with a left. 56-49. Kentucky with it. Kentucky the liked arrow. Tennessee Lone earlier, Lone better wake the hell up. Opposite. Left side, Edwards drives in, left hand runner, no, and the rebound taken by Garcia. Inside. They'll look up for and Texas it'll be five AM. minutes no to go. shots for the Cats. Taylor driving by Edwards to the rim, high back shot off the front rim, no. The arrow tucks the rebound. Throws it ahead to Wagner for Kentucky. He doesn't have numbers. Circles out deep You're left picking side. your car. What does that mean? You car shopping? Yenso couldn't make the catch. A turnover. A&M with it. Obasiki pitches back Radford for three. No! And on Yenso gets Missed the it. rebound for Kentucky. They get it to Wagner. He'll bring it across. 56-49. Turnovers. Welcome back, MKI. 10 Kentucky turnovers have led to 12 A&M points. 
on Yenso at the top. Hands it off right side. Wagner weaving into the foul line. Fires a 15-footer and connects. And he needed that bucket to go in. Texas A&M trapping the pick and roll. You have to make a good decision out of it. You have to have player moving and ball moving. Four minutes gone, second half. The Aggies continue to lead this one. 56-51 against the two seed. Radford off a screen from Washington. Retreats now out toward the time stripe, being pressured by Rob Dillingham and Kentucky's man-to-man. To Taylor, tried to drive by Wagner. Great hands to poke it away from Taylor, and it goes into the scorer's table and out of bounds to send us to a timeout. 15:47. Hey, no to problem, go in the game. Texas A&M in front by five. 56-51 over Kentucky. This is the SEC Radio Network. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. I'm the old basketball hoop in your driveway. And you're back in the hizzle. Your game. I mean, seriously, I should have been replaced back in 99. So when you go up for a dunk, yeah. I slam down onto your car. And if you don't have the right auto insurance, you might have to jump through a few hoops to pay for this. So get Allstate, save money, and get protected from mayhem, like me. Savings vary based on covered selected. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. Bring it in, team. Listen, T-Mobile has 5G home internet across the SEC for just 50 bucks a month with any voice line. And I heard there's no exploding bills. That's a great deal. Stream your SEC team with T-Mobile 5G fish home fish, internet for just 50 bucks a month with auto pay and any voice line. Check availability at T-Mobile.com slash SEC Wi-Fi. Oh, you're going to Hawaii for March After Madness? Month, nice, credit Daddy. Nationally available postpaid voice line. Qualifying credit required. Which island? Fees included in price for qualified accounts plus $5 per month without auto pay. Debit or bank account required. $35 connection charge applies. Words and you headed to Vegas in three Johnson weeks. Film. Pythagoras, Archimedes, Newton, brilliant mathematicians, we get it, but none of them were ever considered tongs. No, I'm Take good, a baby. Thank you. Chock full of meat. How the tongsmen can see angles and create surface area for more sausage? Mm. Geometric genius. Throw on the Johnsonville sausage. Calling all tongsmen. Official sausage of the SEC. SEC basketball. Oh, white Kiki. Nice, bro. By Mercedes Benz, official electric vehicle of the SEC. By Regions, official bank of the SEC. And by Academy Sports Why and Why do they call it homelessness? It's houses, houselessness. These people need not home. 1547 left in the game. It's a 56 51 lead for Texas AM over Kentucky. So, Tony, we were talking in a break about when you're in a game like this late in the season. Differences in how these two teams have tried to attack right at the rim. Tammy Eaton, new subscriber, driving, welcome to the Berserkers. Hands, General feet. Four will be proud. These bigs, one hand, one foot, rather than going in there and trying to dunk the ball. Someone has to be aggressive at the rim, and that is trying to put somebody in the rim. Why is overrated? I was stationed there when I was in the guys. army. Says Doug. When they drive it's beautiful. Basket, I'm not getting out of way. It is expensive. I'm going to go and attack and put you in the rim, and that's what. Texas A&M has done a really good job of them. They played that way all year, so it's it's not something that Kentucky is accustomed to. Texas A&M, it's their style. It's what they do. They love to attack the rim, getting downhill, finishing at the basket, but also getting to the foul line. John Calipari. Got you a Childers. Hey, Bahala, what do you lineup. think about He's the cats? Back in on the front I'm rooting line. for both cats Mitchell, in, in the, the tourney, in the Joshua. I'm half. rooting for and the University of Arizona, and where I live, and for Kentucky. Out, the Aggies attacking the basket to Looks Arlap. like the uh, LA Kings and play the Blackhawks to play tonight in NHL action. And to Taylor takes a look at the clock. Spins by Shepard, who knocked it free. Just threw it up from his seat. Washington tried to throw it up, making the catch. Threw it off the back of the backboard and out of bounds. And Kentucky. Kentucky forces a shot clock violation. Quick hands, good instinct by Shepard. Wagner will bring it up. He just makes things happen when he gets in the game. Can't teach his instinct. Out front, Trey Mitchell. Hands to Shepard. Boy, he thought about a long three, but Washington closes out. They get it down low. Now they kick it out. A three from Dillingham rattles, but won't stay. And the rebound to Obasaki in the paint for Texas A&M. 15-16 and counting here in the second half. AM by five, looking to build on the lead. Clayton. Garcia just inside the top of the arc for the fight. I'm Texas way down Aggies. south by the border, Danny. Way down top. south. To Boots Radford. Goes behind the back, gets by Wagner with help from a screen to the rim. Left hand laying good. Boy, he is not scared to go in there with the bigs. And he finishes again. Radford with 16. 
Got the points of right. You can say that strong left hand, he's one of the best finishers in the league. 58 51. Dillingham drives the baseline left side. A hammer pass to Shepard, right corner. Kicks it over left of the circle. Wagner, a three off the front rim. No. Mitchell with the offensive board. Out to Dillingham, down to a V6. Come on, right Dillingham. Hand. That shot is good for Big Z. Let's go, Z. Making the play at the basket, Big Z. 58-53, a five-point lead for Texas A&M. 14-23 to play. We appreciate it, Joshua. Off appreciate it. Gets to the left wing, driving almost. Joshua long. Childers Picks up in here, up in here. Washington who collects a low pass on his sneaker strings at the top of the arc. Radford down the left lane line, floats it up high off the window and banks it in. Just said that last drive, you have to force him right. Shepard drives down the right lane line, kicks out to Dillingham, his three front rim glass, and off the duck follow won't go for Avisic, but he gets fouled, and he's going to head to the line. Garcia tried to block him out, but it's 6-7, no match for Avisic. It's 7-2, and he'll put Big Z on the line. Meanwhile, it, Solomon maybe Washington Joshua, maybe. Down at what do you think? Line for Texas A and M, and one of his What do you think? I don't know nothing more than you in the chat, like Joshua. A calf cramp in his right leg was just told to let go of that foot. Washington clearly in pain. I mean, writhing. Oh, this guy hurt, y'all. While they continue to tend to Washington, we'll tell you that that's Garcia's third foul and the fourth on A&M in the half. And Zivana Miravicic is about to head to the line to shoot twice. A good foul shooter at his size at 83%. Boy, Washington to his feet. But boy, as soon as he stood up, he put some pressure on that right foot and that cramp hurting so bad that he almost doubled over, and now he does a hop all the way to the end of the bench on his left foot. And the training staff will go back to work on him here with 13.57 left uh, in the game. Even more, well, southeast from Nogales, Danny. Done that before, having those cramps. <laughs> right by Fort Huachuca, dude. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get it out your leg. Got to get some liquids in his body, but just one of those high I was stationed at Fort Huachuca, got out of the Army here. We'll need to get back in the game. Yeah, immediately to the water bottle at the end of the bench while the trainers continue to work on the calf. Avisic steps to the free throw line. Levesque comes in, the South Carolina transfer in his second year with Texas A&M to take over for the injured Washington. Levesque and Radford, Obasiki, Henry Coleman is back into the game. And Wade Taylor for the Aggies. Shepard. Trey Mitchell, They're trying, the Uriel. They're trying to come back. Dillingham and Wagner for Kentucky. Seven-point game. AM leads at 60 to 53. They've led most of the way, and the first free throw is good for Avisic. Joshua, Maybe are you talking about with their NAI, NIL money? Against Georgia at Rupp Arena had 13 and 5 in that one and turned heads with his ability to do a little bit of everything. Second free throw, front rim, back rim, and off. And the rebound taken by Radford for Texas AM. As you stated, a highly skilled player passing. I don't know. It is what it is, bro. You can do a lot of different things for Kentucky. A&M in a three-man. I mean, it wasn't like the universities are going to give the money that they Taylor make off these kids off to lower tuitions the arc, now to Radford, deep right rear. or lower the salaries of their regions. Right wing against Shepard. Spins left to the logo. Contested jumper. Shepard got it, but he also got him on the arm. And Reed Shepard. So I think the kids deserve it just two. as much. And the second on Kentucky. Because they're making the money. Left. Even though he drove right, he was going to try it. He was trying to spin back left. He's so left-hand dominant. Kentucky has to figure out how to force All of right are business now. Absolute business. Right Money-making machine. Finishing with the left. Radford with two shots here. He's got 18 in the game. First for the lefty. Off the back rim, no. He had a big game against Kentucky in College Station. Make that bread, homie. <laughs> we mentioned already. Taylor had 31. This trio Same thing I think about a 16-year-old pro Taylor tennis player buying a Mercedes this summer in the old. last four games, the current win streak for Texas A&M among the group, averaging almost 49 points per game. But that's their uh, that's their big three. That's their offensive threat. And when you can have three really good guys, we talked about it. If one is off. As long as you got two on, you got a chance. Raining to in California. That's how, that's how Texas A&M is going to advance. Radford knocked okay, down that's one enough of for two. 61-54. The lead is seven for the Aggies. 13-23 left. And Kentucky with it. And White attacking the hoop to our right. 
Out front, DJ Wagner. Left wing, Shepard drives the baseline. Jump pass out to Dillingham. Catch and shoot three, bingo. Shepard with the five. Oh. Dillingham with a finish. He's got 14, and it's 61-57. Brown comes to its feet again here at Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. A&M's always had the answer. Do they have one here? Taylor down the right lane line on Avisic, puts it up short, rebounded by Coleman, goes up inside on Mitchell. Mitchell goes for the swat and foul. You know, the and colleges thought they could control the this NIL money. They thought they could control it Every once in a while, and still keep raking off the top the like pimps. Coming over because now you're leaving the backside open for a strong player like Coleman to go overpower a guard. Henry Coleman, 6'8, 245, a senior for Who's Richmond, you with truth? First of two free throws for him, rattles in. Absolutely true. Coach is making millions of dollars at the taxpayer's expense. AM stretches its lead. Just a few years ago, Lou Olson here in Arizona was the highest paid state employee. Here's his second on the way from the right hander. Front rim, glass and in. He goes two for two. 63 57. AM's got it back to six. 12 49 left as Shepard brings it across the 10 second line. Angling left outside the arc. Keeps the dribble. Tuition prices are unbelievable now, y'all. And he slams it in. Let's go, baby. 7 2. They lost him on the back line, and the alley oop connects. 63 Nick Saban bailed out because he didn't have a competitive advantage anymore. That's why Nick Saban bailed out. Big Z open. Nice alley oop. Obasaki, left wing, drives to the logo. Down the right lane line, up and under against Devisic, and he finishes with the left hand. Manny Nick Obasaki Saban bailed out because he did not have a competitive advantage anymore. For Kentucky, it's Dillingham. Foul line extended left, attacking the hoop to our right. Out to Shepard, working against Coleman in A&M's 2-3 zone. Shepard drives down the right lane line, finds Dillingham, fades on the baseline. Eight-footer won't go, and Coleman with the rebound for the Aggies. 11.50 and counting for the second half. 65-59, Taylor driving on Mitchell. Fades, fires a 10-footer, and knocks it down. Kentucky is going to have to put multiple stops together to get this lead or to even... Saban owns a yacht, y'all. <laughs> he owns a freaking yacht. An open three. Off the front rim, no. Mitchell with an offensive board, and he gets fouled by Levesque. So, yeah, I think it's okay if the, that kid drives around in the Mercedes Wilson's while Levesque. Saban owns a yacht. Picks up his second personal for Texas A&M. What would you Fifth buy first with your NIL money? Half, Kentucky will have the ball trailing. Well, this is when play resumes. 11, this is my deal, bro. If I won the lottery and I had no more money than I knew what to do with in the SEC tournament, Texas A&M trying to win its um, second game here as a 67-59 lead over Kentucky on the SEC radio network. I, I don't know. I've always wanted to replace the Volkswagen bus that I had in high school. Something about that song. So I would definitely get me a rebuilt well, Volkswagen bus, requests? 70s-ish. Oh, how about some mozzarella sticks instead? Um, I've always wanted to get the COO snack. and Escalade, so I'd get here the you pimp Mama the De Escalade. This next one I'd probably get me a Silverado. Lovers out there. You know? A house? I don't know. I don't know if we'd try to fix this one up. Men's basketball tournament. On the SEC That's probably it. Network. A Circle K gift card. We know that sport has the power to change lives on and off the field, but today the majority Game of kids in the without US are no longer playing sports. As the leader in fueling athletes, Gatorade is committed to helping reverse you know, this trend and creating the last say on anything that happens in Tuscaloosa. That's why Gatorade has launched Fuel Tomorrow. You ever get down in that bus? To help everyone have <laughs> equal opportunity to play sports and realize their potential. Learn more about Gatorade's commitment to break down barriers and help. Keep in mind, not all the kids making money use it to buy Gatorade. stuff. There, some of them help their families. SEC Valid by a Are pump mobile. Fun? Academy Sports and Outdoors has everything what? you need to rep your college team. <laughs> what the fuck is that? The great outdoors. Stop by your local Academy store and shop oh. online at academy.com for game day essentials. Oh, a pimp mobile. And, fleece, to and take teams, me out of vacation. I'll come get you, Theo. I've wanted, always wanted to see Washington, D.C. and New York City. And Academy has all you need for camping, <laughs> hiking, hunting, fishing, and running. Academy Sports and Outdoors is the official sporting goods retailer of the SEC.
As a Louisville fan, I can't cheer on Kentucky in any way, shape, or form, says MKI. 11.29 to go in 31 the likes, Texas chat. A&M leads Kentucky 67 to 59. I'm looking at a box score here, Tony Delk, and I see two numbers <laughs> that absolutely leap off the page. Points off turnovers. A&M has plus 10, 12-2 in that category. Second chance points. Not a shock that A&M's good there because they're a great offensive rebounding team, but 21-7 against a Kentucky team that is bigger on the front line. These Aggie players just playing with a little more pride and a little more want to when it talk when you're talking about going to the glass well, it's here. Physical, it's physicality, and that's how they were able to buy a Kentucky pump mobile and rake me on a vacation. The bigger, what are you more talking? Physical than Kentucky's big. <laughs> Kentucky's long and athletic, but they're thin. The front line is thin. Gert gets and beats thin guys when you think about Sus. where the game is at right now. <laughs> Shepard will play it in for UK after an AM foul took us to the timeout. Comes in from the baseline. They get it to Dillingham left wing driving I on see Solomon it, Washington. Oh my God. From the logo. <laughs> that one didn't get there. Washington got a piece on Yenso swats it out to the wing. Obasik he picks it up. He gets tied up by Dillingham and the arrow will give Jump it to ball. the ball. The Texas A&M's ball with 11-18 to play. Something that's always been on my bucket list is to visit every U.S. national park. That's what I would do if I won the lottery. That's pretty cool. They have not trailed since it was one to nothing very, very early. Radford, the 28-foot line right side, goes left off a screen from Coleman. Jace Carter's in for the first time in the second half of the Aggies. He sends it to Obasiki, left corner. Back around the arc, left to right to Radford to Carter. Post entry to Coleman at the high block, deflected and stolen by Kentucky. Shepard brings it left to right, pull up three, short, no good. And the rebound taken by Coleman, who was able to box out the seven footer, Ugana Agnenso. Radford across the line, slowing the pace, trying to bleed some clock here in an eight point game. Radford at the top, bounces it between two guards to Coleman, kicks it out, Carter, a three, skips off the left edge of the iron. Oh, Rebounded Kentucky, now's the time. Let's Mitchell get caught up, Kentucky. pass him, and win this mug. 10.26 to, to, to go. Left. Down the left lane line, hooked it out in the corner, looking for Shepard. Turnover, Obasiki come on. For Texas A&M. 67-59, A&M in front as we tick down near the midway point of the second half in Nashville. Radford, open left lane line, drives, lifted up left hand, looking for contact, didn't get it, but the rebound tapped out by Kentucky, and A&M will get it back with Drive my bus on, on up to the drive-in and get lost in a bucket of popcorn, says Calvary. Joshua. <laughs> It's not a play Joshua Payton, that, that picture, y'all. Sun setting behind him as the opening credits the roll the off for the latest the blockbuster. Rebounded by Kentucky. You gonna have a little honey with you, Joshua? A little honey for some necking? <laughs> Trey Mitchell's third and Kentucky's fourth. The Texas A&M's got it back with 9.52 left. John Calipari doesn't agree with the call holding. They ran into Kroger to pick up some pita crackers for my wife, and they had just cleaned out the donut case and had a giant box of about 15 donuts and assorted pastries for $2.24. Bonus! They have to start meeting the guards outside the paint, which is going to open up the bounce pass to the big. Kentucky has gone yes, Bob, I'm doing the Warriors-Lakers game tomorrow. And a double team right of the lane. Out to Shepard, right wing. Now around the arc, left side. Had to get it. Now I need to gorge myself on them for the next 48 hours or free some decisions, decisions. To the foul line and a double team. Gets it out to Shepard. Left wing, ducks to Mitchell. It's raining hard in Riverside. Nice interior passing by Kentucky there. And the Cats will get to the line for two. I like necking, I reckon. Commits the foul. That is his third in the team six. And Trey Mitchell. Just be careful, Joshua. You don't want the popo to show up. A chance to get in the scoring column for the first time tonight. He's been held scoreless, a guy that averages 11 points per game. Yeah, coming back from injury, he hasn't played up to the, up to how he was before the injury. And you can kind of see, still trying to get his rhythm, still got, still trying to get his cardio, but he's missing his timing right now. 
First free throw is too strong. Come on, man. Usually a very good foul. <laughs> what are we doing here, Kentucky? You're down by 10 with nine Sullivan minutes Washington to go. Picked up his third foul, has to exit for a and &M. That means Garcia is back. Garcia has three fouls. I am losing home. all my points today. Carter, Radford, Obasaki, and Taylor. Reeves, Onyenso, Mitchell's the shooter. I have little Wagner, knowledge on the freezing Kentucky aspects of donatology. <laughs> Mitchell gets one of two at the line. 69 to 60, a nine point lead for AM with 908. Summer Oaks says them oh, donuts to getting eaten. Upset. Mississippi State pulled one off today, knocking off the top seed, Tennessee, in game one of the day. And now the two seed <laughs> is on the ropes with nine minutes left. <laughs> I'm getting the, the itch to see my Spurs on Taylor's Sunday here in Austin. For three. Bingo. Oops, that was a three. Kentucky in big trouble, y'all. Upset alert. Upset alert. A 12-point lead for Texas A&M, 72-60. Kentucky with it on Yenso. Low block right to Reeves. Back to on Yenso, right of the lane. Down the lane. Fierro goes airborne. Ram tough. With the right hand. That's the kind of finish you got to have going to the rim. Attacking, finishing strong. Fierro with the drive. 72-60. You better step Kentucky up, Butterfly. Within 10. Buy you some tickets. Second half clock. Radford against Shepard at the top of the arc. Crossing over, trying to find space. Slides over to the 28-foot line. Now he attacks, gets by Shepard. Kicks right corner, Carter, a three. Off the heel, no. Reeves gets the weak side rebound. But a late whistle, and Olandis Poole said Reeves shoved to get that rebound. Crowd here doesn't like the call. It's the Joshua, I'm going to go with Reeves. chocolate donut the fifth on with the sprinkles. The soft sprinkles, not those hard ones. The, the soft, the game leading by 10. some fill shaped sprinkles. Chocolate He'll get Reeves, with the sprinkles. How about you? And a baseline out of bounds for the I remember the days of buying day old Krispy Kreme donuts basket. because they would give them to you for a dollar a dozen, says Clayton. Left of the circle, driving on Onyenso. Puts it up over the big man. That one falls off the right edge. No. Obasaki gets his miss out to Taylor. Three at the top. Oh, my goodness. He's knocked down another. No. Let's go. Got to find Taylor. He, is, he has the hot hand. He Taylor killing him. College Station. He's got 28 tonight with 745 left. 75-62, playing like a guy that everybody thought was going to be the player of the year in the preseason. Kentucky all Dillingham year has been right up and down, up and down, down. hot and cold. And if they don't get it together quick here, it's going to be a cold night in Nashville. 75-64, Kentucky's defense has improved in its five-game win streak. It hasn't quite been there tonight. Theo, 50,000 on the Aggies. Out to Carter for three. He was wide open, and he rattles it in. And Kentucky has to take a timeout, trailing by 14 with 7.07 left. The Aggies lighting it up from outside. They're now 11 of 24 from the three-point line for 46%. Big Blue Faithful here in Nashville. Come on, Waffle House, silent. guys, says Joshua. To go in the game. Waffle House is the number one Kentucky place. 64. This is the SEC The Maple Radio Donut. Network. When you add beans to your plate, the whole team celebrates, and you get a delicious Nashville has been the upset of city today, protein. says MKI. Now yes, it has. really something to cheer about. Bushes, the official beans of the SEC. So much Farmal goodness freak. and such a beautiful bean. <laughs> The SEC is more than the Southeastern Conference. It's so what we're going to do after this game, y'all, is we're just going to switch over elite conference. to uh, the elite watch the conference. end of that Clippers game. The conference. The I'm not turning it off. We're going to stay on the Kentucky the thumbnail. Enduring conference. And, more and we'll watch some uh, NBA Seattle hoops everyone else close out the night. This is the SEC, where it just means more. Waffle House is closed, so you got to pick a donut, Joshua. Go. Pick a donut, Joshua. Yeah, you so many bricks, you could build a house with them. I should have brought a pillow. Your team is a snooze fest. Your star shooter is a no-show. Listen here. Did you get a COVID-19 shot this fall? No. You still Yo. can. Because I can't God, trash talk your emojis. if you're homesick. That's sweet. Know what else is sweet? Watching you lose. 
Pfizer and the SEC are teaming up to remind fans that there's still time to get a COVID-19 shot. Learn more and book a vaccine option at ScheduleCovidVax.com. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. When you add beans to your plate, the whole team well, celebrates. See the present and you get a delicious gave me? and no, what give you? fiber and plant-based protein. Now that's really something to cheer about. Bushes, the official beans of the SEC. So much goodness and such a beautiful bean. SEC Basketball is brought to you all week long by All State Insurance. You're in good hands by Johnsonville, sausage obsessed since 1945, and by Sun Kiss Soda. Waffle Every House Rock. Under the sun. I think I've eaten in a Waffle House twice in my life. Maybe once. Game. Texas A&M leads Kentucky 78-64. We don't have one here, Wade obviously. Taylor. Man, what can we say about him? 28, Tony. He so had 28 for Taylor today. 19 for Radford. Dillingham, 16. Shepard, an off night. 14 on 5 for 7. By a big number tonight if he keeps shooting it the way Well, the scout report is you got to be there on the catch. And he got going. He got. He saw one go through the rim early, and that kind of gave him confidence. But also, Camaro ain't having it. He says Waffle House is closed. He got a lot of easy looks. He's Whoa. able to get downhill, and right now you cannot lose Wade Taylor. He is the hottest player in this arena right now. Now, you know, we were talking about A&M and how well they've taken care of the ball tonight. They've only got four turnovers in the game. You gave me an interesting thought. Now, you're a guy who shot it pretty good now, but you gave me this interesting thought on why those turnover numbers are low. When you got a guy like Taylor, you got another guy like Radford, they shoot it as well as they do. Not many people pass right, it 7 to get me to go. Oh, no, it's 78-64, Texas A&M right, no, over Kentucky. I can see if it was 20. Shepard for Kentucky. Drives to the free throw line. Pitches to Dillingham, left wing. He attacks, gets to the logo. He lost the ball, and it goes out of bounds off Dillingham. Texas A&M gets it back on another turnover. And Neil, another thing, these Kentucky players haven't been in this atmosphere. This is like the first game of a real tournament that they never experienced. And you got to look at the experience on the other side of Texas A&M. Well coached and experienced players who have played and won in this building. John Calipari thought Dillingham might have been fouled on the drive. It didn't look that way from here. Just looked like he lost the handle. Talking with Doug Shaw. The bench continues house. to argue. As Midnight we Waffle House runs with a favorite thing to do. To Denny's Texas here. Miss Denny's here. UK 64. Another upset perhaps in the making here at the SEC tournament. Stay tuned. This is the SEC Radio Network. Some say New York had the greatest lineup ever back in 27. Though Woodstock in 69 Midnight was runs for food are the best. Sneak Chicago, in and take a look. But perhaps the most impressive ever is the full line of Mercedes-Benz electric vehicles. Choose from a growing list of models, like the versatile EQB. What do you give you an emoji? EQS, or the roomier EQS SUV. You're not Go getting one. dealer or MBUSA.com to learn more. Mercedes-Benz, official vehicle of the SEC. Back to Music City after this timeout. This so whatever he gave SEC you, I'm giving Sheila. <laughs> Words to savor from Johnsonville. <laughs> Pythagoras, Archimedes, Newton, brilliant mathematicians. We get it, but none of them were ever considered. No, I didn't see. Tongsman. Take a grilling great chock full of meat. How the tongsman can see angles and create surface area for more sausage? Mmm. Geometric genius. Throw on the Johnsonville sausage. Calling all tonesmen. Official sausage of the SEC. When you live in SEC country, you feel it everywhere you go. The tradition yeah, the and the Grand Slam at Denny's at 2 a.m. As much as you I can't celebrate find the, the uh, game, God, region just, celebrates your Jeff, financial wins shit together. even more. And like SEC fans, we'll never quit. <laughs> Because in an SEC world, we're the SEC Bank. Regents, official bank of the SEC, member FDIC. <laughs> 649 left in the game. Texas A&M leads Kentucky 78-64. Kentucky's just turned the ball over for the 12th time tonight. A&M's only turned it over four times. And the Aggies will have a side yeah, out the defensive coordinator. We were talking during the break. 
A&M's experience really showing up in this game. They are an old team. They Welcome are. back, Kentucky, Doug. on the other hand, has some older guys. They're transfers, but they have a lot of young people they lean on, and that's showing up a little bit with the turnovers Absolutely. Here. When you think about just how well Texas A&M has played, even going back to last year, the experienced players coming back, returning, and wanting to get to the NCAA tournament. If they get this win, they should be in. Everybody thinks they played their way off the bubble. My jam was definitely night midnight food at Benny's after donating round, some money at the Kentucky, track. The number two seed, you would think they would absolutely punch their ticket. Radford, six to shoot. Gets to the foul line. Turns down the left lane on, on Edwards. A pump fake puts it up off the window and in. Just very patient. Another veteran play from Tyrese Radford. He has wow. 21. 80 to 64. Hashtag Voight Market Crash. 6 12 left. And time becoming an issue for the Wildcats. Dillingham driving baseline left side. And he gets fouled as he gets to the lane. And they're going to call this one on Garcia, I think. Yep, it's on Anderson Garcia. It's his fourth. And it's the seventh on Texas A&M. So that is a help for Kentucky. Now they're in the bonus for the last 6.08. Sure, and they're a good maybe foul I don't have team. a thing But Kentucky has gone small. So even the last drive, normally having a seven-footer back there, Mitchell, it doesn't have to lengthen athleticism. And Texas A&M guards know they don't have rim protection right now. Right, so now the drive will be road. easier if I'm seeing them. Because I don't see this has been raining nonstop there. there. And, She's and loving I stated, it. Mitchell doesn't have the athleticism to really challenge shots at the rim. That's a great point. Dillingham makes the front end of the one and one. He's got one more sixth man of the year in the SEC on the way. That one's good. He's got 18 tonight. His first SEC What's tournament norms? game. RM, what's Norm? 66. A 14 point lead for the fight in Texas Aggies. And Kentucky into some full court pressure here, looking to trap Radford along the left side. Throws cross court across the timeline to Taylor, and he gets tangled up with Dillingham at the 28 foot line. Doug Shaw spots the foul. Dillingham second, and the sixth on Kentucky. 559 left in the game, 80 to 66. AM doesn't have to be in a hurry here with a 14 point lead and 21. I on send the, shot the lawyer clock. an email. I can hear Val's cash register sound effect in my head. They know. The shot clock is on their side. Radford gets it in. Yeah, but does he have a cool graphic, Carter. Theo? Goes behind the back against Justin Edwards. Does the lawyer have back a cool graphic? Rear now to Wade Taylor. Shot clock at 10. Step Where the money back. rains from up above. Radford tried to save it in. Throws I don't it think so. Wagner, who's got it for Kentucky. Leads it ahead to Dillingham. So. Spins around Taylor into front court. Finds Shepard right corner. One more Wagner. Out top Dillingham. Pulls the trigger on a three and he hits it. Let's go. It seems 69. like it's too little too Kentucky's late, though. not done yet. Back with an 11. 11. to go. Taylor weaves to the defense to the other end. They can't stop him, and he flips it off the glass at him with a right hand. Taylor with an answer. 30 for Wade Taylor. 5.13 to go. Orms is a 24-hour diner. Kentucky oh. with the ball on the baseline. Left side. It's Mitchell out to Shepard. Up to... Dillingham for three left wing and that was Let's go turn. Dillingham's catching fire for Rob Dillingham. Let's go 82 72 a and m by 10 Taylor gets tripped by Edwards just shy of the time stripe John Calipari is really really upset Eat here real Doug good and spend one a one dollar exact on each race is TQ the coaching box is I'd Wagner rather send Valadono than an email to the lawyer and a &M <laughs> going to go to the foul line with 4.55 left, trying to build on a 10-point lead, and Taylor will go there to shoot him with a chance to match his point total from that win for the Aggies against Kentucky back on January 13th at Reed Arena. The foul was on Justin Edwards, number two on him. Still there a lot of time left. Still a lot of time, but they're going to have to put some stops together in order to get this lead under 10. He missed the front end of the one and one. A rare miss for Taylor, an 84% foul shooter. And Kentucky gets the rebound. 4.49 left. The Cats are down 10. Shepard, deep left rear. Big Blue Faithful come to their feet. Thought about oh, the three against Carter. Gets it to Dillingham. Drives the lane. Down low to Edwards for the two. Edwards one. slam dunk. 82. We coming back. The boys Kentucky's in blue are back, y'all. 30 left. Radford against a trap, splits it at the top, kicks right corner, Manny Obasaki, and he will ask for a timeout. Texas A&M using one of their three so 82 74 with 422 to go in the game. second half. It Can Kentucky come back and avoid the, the upset in Nashville? 74.
against the number two seed in the tournament, Kentucky. SEC quarterfinal action. Buzz Williams his full timeout here with 422 left. And then he'd be getting another timeout under four. Yeah, so, so we will take this one too. This is the fourth time like, out of the I half. actually like that timeout. Yep. And the reason why I like it is you, you get your guys, calm down, calm and settle down, give them a play coming out of the timeout. since I was at the track team where I used to. Kentucky has to do a better job of Mostly quarter in, horses at Los Al Alamitos in Western OC. Night, you know, with, with the downhill play of both guards. But also Summer Oak, did you ever go to up. Hollywood we'll see Park? See what they do when we return. A timeout on the floor. 82-74. A and M leads Kentucky on the They're SEC trying. Radio They're trying network. to make a game. Of SEC it. fans, are you ready for some fun? Academy Sports and Outdoors has everything. All right, thirteen hundred views, almost fourteen. Thirty-one outdoors. likes. Stop by your local Academy store. Subscribe and if you're new. Give the video a like. If you want to reward the effort. To caps and tees. Plus, get Nike, Carhartt, you want to just see a guy standing there, nodding his head repeatedly. Price guarantee. And Staff's up there in the game candy, audio playing. Hunting, fishing, and running. There's Academy a streamer Sports for you out there. Someday the he turns his shit off. Of the SEC. We know that sport has the power to change lives on and off the field. But today, the majority of kids in the U.S. are no longer playing sports. As the leader in fueling athletes, Gatorade is committed to helping reverse this trend and creating positive change across our communities. He started That's why acting Gatorade like he gave a damn tomorrow, about the Big Blue a Nation. Initiative to help everyone now he got two streams going for NBA basketball. Potential. Learn more about Gatorade's commitment to break down Mama barriers be mad and millions of kids get into the game. About how much of that internet he's using. Slash community. She probably won't make him that hot pocket. And if you want to grab a snack, grab a farm rich snack. Mm, something about that song just makes me hungry. Well, any Let's requests? go see what Butterfly talking about here. Oh, how about some mozzarella sticks instead? <laughs> Folks, it's time for me to grab a snack. Feel free to do the same. You can find farm rich in the freezer aisle. Butterfly this over there right now, y'all. I'm about to drop some points. Cheese lovers out there. SEC Basketball is brought to you all week long by Farm Rich, the official frozen snack of the SEC. Grab a snack and by T-Mobile, bringing 5G home internet to fans across the SEC. I don't know what he's talking about. 422 left in the game. 82-74, Texas A&M leads Kentucky. Before play resumes, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10 seconds for a station ID on the SEC radio network. Up. This is serious. Serious XM. Serious XM. Radio. 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 <laughs> I am here. <laughs> Delk, I'm Neil Price. Stephen Hartzell will be along after the game to get you set for the fourth game. I didn't see I nothing over there. What was I looking for? Already or will be in the books by that point here in <laughs> Nashville. Cabell Philpot is our engineer. Phil Brame is along. We've got the whole SEC radio network. Cavalcade of Stars on hand here at Bridgestone Arena. Come on, Kentucky. Him with the ball out of the timeout. Solomon Washington back in down the left lane line on Big Z, and he puts it in over the 7-2 big man. Well, they just keep going at the rim. They haven't changed who they are today. Still a 10-point lead, four, four minutes to go. Can Jones Kentucky down. do it? Underneath finds a wide-open Mitchell down the left Mitchell lane with the layup. Left-hand layup. 84-76, Texas A&M. They throw long. Big Z jumps in front of the pass. Big Z picks it off. Kentucky. Pitches Giraffe. Reeves driving baseline. Goes up against Washington in the lane and gets fouled. That was a really good play by Big Man reading the passing lane. Off I him? I didn't think he was going to get there, but just the instincts, the skill set of a 17 player. We can't do it right now. I'll do it. At, with very oh, a Kawhi emoji. Oh, track it. <laughs> I looked at the emojis. I didn't see the Kawhi one. I checked right away to see if there was a butterfly in the emoji. The eighth on the Aggies. Reeves free throw is on target. Still time. Still time. Got to keep playing. And Texas A&M. I, I can't give a Sheila a Kawhi emoji. Sheila ain't gonna like a Kawhi emoji. Seven, a seven-point lead <laughs> for AM after the first make for Antonio Reeves. He's been in foul trouble most of the night. Hadn't been much of a factor. First team all SEC. Second one for the right hander rattles in. Stop. You gotta get stops. You gotta get multiple stops. Can't gamble. We gotta play solid defense. 84-78, crowd back in it. A&M throws over the top of the Preston Garcia. He finds LSU in the, the house. What's up, LSU? Mitchell. 
and he gets How fouled. This guy don't miss. Bradford makes another big time play. This guy does not miss the two and the end he's one. Got 23 on the night with a chance for 24 coming up in an 86 78 game. He just doesn't have the length athleticism to get off you the You know it. Dodgers just think this is Theo. You can't give up. You can't give up. Just thought I'd say hi to you. How you doing? How was the second clean. game? Where did you sit? Tell us all about it. Those guys can finish over him. <laughs> Bradford had 28 against Kentucky in that win for the Aggies. He fires the free throw and makes it, but there's a lane violation. Lane violation. Committed by Texas A&M, and Aggie got into the paint early. The free throw won't count. And the score holds. Right, come on, Kentucky. Eight-point lead. Forty-two to go. Shepard will bring it up for Kentucky. Shepard. Mitchell, Avisis, and Reeves. He spins at the elbow. Left side gets into the lane and gets tripped. And he's going to get back to the free throw line. Wade Taylor, the fourth, picks up his third. Ninth on Texas A&M. With 3.37 left, another chance for Kentucky to get some points back with no time coming off. Elishima, you got to tell me what you think about the hats the Dodgers are going to wear in Korea. About the videos when they arrive. Reeves, in addition to being first team all league, was named third team All American by Sporting News at the conclusion of the regular season. Run into one and one. He missed it. And the rebound taken by Radford inside. So an opportunity at the foul line goes by the boards for Kentucky. Three and a half to go. Betting still open, yo. Across the line, right to left for Texas AM. Against Shepard. 28 feet away, right side. Crosses over, gets by him. A 10 foot runner off the heel, no. And the rebound reeled in by Mitchell for UK. Here come the Cats in white, left to right. On the drive, Dillingham down the left lane line between two defenders, can't finish. Avisic tipped it back up with a right hand, no. Reeves gets the rebound right wing. In the corner, Dillingham drives underneath, fires to Shepard for three off the front iron, no out of the corner. Rebound collected by Garcia for Texas A&M. To Radford, brings it around Mitchell, who's got three fouls. Ducky's got to hit one of these big threes. A&M leading 86 Put the pressure. On a and M. the legs, drives by Shepard. All and they got to play defense. Big C was there to alter it. And Kentucky Just like that. With it. Dillingham on the drive, goes under the basket, lost the handle, and loses it across the baseline and out of bounds. Calipari thought he was fouled. There was some contact. I attended three Dodgers the spring the training games. Dodgers won against D-backs and Giants, behind, lost to Mariners. All three games were sold out. Trip him up. Nice. No call made and Did you have fun? turnover. 235 for the game. I didn't see the hats for Korea. Yeah, both the Padres and Dodgers are wearing a special hats for the Korea series. Um, they're they're the team names in Korean across the hat. Angling left off a Washington screen at the top of the arc. Obasiki slides right. He lost that. It's on the community page, Elishiva. Pictures on the on the community page. Put it up with the right hand and banked it in. Oh my. 88-78, Kentucky the other way, Reeves for the answer. Finds space right in the lane for a right-hand bank shot. So it's still an eight-point game. All right, so Calipari takes a timeout with 2.03 remaining. Kentucky down by eight. Trade baskets. But boy, what a night for these A&M guards. 30 for Taylor, 23 for Radford, and now 14. Well, Elishiva saw the, uh, the Otani home run. I know that. Three have been really big in this four-game win streak for the Aggies. Glass now, she saw that performance by Glass now as well. Among them, and Manny has really picked up. His I had game. a total blast. Six. Nice. Six loss. Nice. Six opponents he's played against him. When you think about Mitchell, they were just attacking him. They just know he can't get off the ground. He's not as athletic, and he doesn't. He's not a threat back there. So good guards know, once I get past my man, which a great player doesn't worry about the first guy guarding. He worries about the back line, and that's what they're great at, getting to back line players. And we don't have shot blockers back there. Vertical going vertical is not going to detour those guys. A&M playing for a fifth consecutive win, and it's 20th of the year. If it can uh -oh. hang on here Somebody tonight, is in a lottery Kentucky's spot, I think, here. To 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 and eight. On the point betting, I think someone and hoping it won't be its last. is sitting on a lottery ticket. No, Wait no, it updated. We'll it down Six bets right. on the yeah, Wildcats, five on the Aggies. Washington, Garcia, 329,000 in the bucket. Rounding out the lineup for Buzz Williams and company. They throw it ahead to Obasiki in front court. Circles out right wing against Reeves. 
It's Radford deep right rear. 152 and counting. No cash game. value, y'all. No cash value. A&M. Taylor working against Rob Dillingham. Dribbles over the left side of the floor. Finds Radford wide open three. That one bounces twice on the iron. No, but a foul on the rebound. Garcia got shoved out of the way. And A&M's going to get it back. I got to meet and chat with a couple of the Dodgers. Loved it. There you go. <laughs> the foul is on Zavonimir Visage, his second, team's eighth, and Garcia will go to the free throw line to shoot one plus. In there again in the mix for a rebound. He's got seven tonight. There are three A&M players. Glass now can stay healthy. He's going to be in the Cy Young race all year since played. Garcia's free throw is good. Just tough. Just tough inside players that want to get dirty, will do the dirty work. They know the guards are going to do the scoring, and they're going to do the dirty work on the inside, and they're going to protect the rim when guys guard. Mitchell's, guys been, Mitchell's been the rebounder for Kentucky with eight. The arrow's got five. Garcia knocks down both ends of the one and one. So Garcia pushes tonight. the lead back to 10 with 138 to go. By 10. Dillingham tried to split a double team, spinning left down the lane, and the ball goes out of bounds off of one of those two Aggies. And with 131 left. I met the Dodgers the batting coach, says, Aaron Bates. I got to chat with sure. Dodgers Rumpier minor league player, like Noah, Noah Miller. Correct. Out of bounds off a and Doug Shaw is going to take a look at the monitor. Moreau says, from what I hear, the Padres the have three Cy Young John guys. Calipari is going to take the opportunity to do a little bit of lobbying in the Tennessee State Capitol, trying to get a few more whistles here in the last 131 with his team down 10. Here's some Garth Brooks well, playing in the, the background, yeah. Shepard has such a good first half. He's Checking on my bet. Come on, join us, Val, when you're done. Actually, I think I'm going to stream it. But then not being able to guard Taylor off the bounce, or at the three-point line, and then once he got it going, I think I'm doing like going. red zone and NBA for the rest so of the night. You had three players on this thumbnail. How important the guard play is, especially in the NCAA tournament. If you can't guard guys off the bounce from the three-point line, it's going to be Ain't nowhere near my 10,000 views. Heard Doug Shaw say the call on the floor is confirmed. It'll be Kentucky's ball. Shepard had six shots, five of six in the first half. He's had. Yeah, we giving up the these points. But also not rhythm shots. Like, all right, we'll see you, Miss Elishiva. You have a great day. You got to touch the ball. You got to see it go through next. You might have to miss four or five shots, but he he has to be more aggressive. If he's going to help this Kentucky team not only win this game, but if they're going to get to the tournament and be able to advance to a Sweet 16. He can't so the Aggies fans are singing, "I got friends in low places." And to reap. he has to go out and score himself. Kentucky needs a bucket here, down 10, 90 to 80, with 132 left. A side out. A hey, night, Theo. Will play it in at the 28 foot line at the head of the UK bench. Comes into Rob Dillingham, deep left rear, slides right off a of Trey Mitchell screen. Now he'll use one again to go to the left, driving down the right lane line to the rim, flips it up. No, Mitchell skies in to slam it with two hands. 90 to 82. Ball winds up. Now we're just Kentucky trying to bench. extend the game, I guess. And it'll be Texas A&M's ball after a UK I, I ate as many as I could deal with, bro. I, I got about half of them sitting there. I'm going to put them in a bag after this game ends, and I'll throw them in the toaster oven tomorrow. So eight-point game. We'll remind you here, too, that Kentucky has shot the three very well this year. You know, I'm Coming literally going to stay tonight, on this stream, y'all. I'll stay on. We'll just hit the button and switch it over. Pointers. That's the third most in single season history they've hit 10 tonight so they're up to 307 or up to 317 now for the season and even with 117 with a three-point line they can climb back into this thing pretty quick with a couple shots they can but you stated it earlier texas they're gonna storm the court yeah and they and they have really good guard play that what don't turn the ball over at That's disneyland i don't know owen guys. Guys that can't handle guys. Cinderella's castle burned guys down? They can dribble the ball. And that's where the game has changed now compared to maybe 20 years ago when you only had a point guard that can handle. Multiple guys can handle the ball now and make the city. Betting is closed. New right, foe. So Kentucky and a full court man to man press here. With nice Taylor try, Ryan though. Running to his left along the baseline. Comes into Garcia. And Shepard will immediately foul Anderson Garcia to stop the clock with 115 left. Reed Shepard's third foul, and that is the ninth on Kentucky trying to extend the game. Disneyland. Here, no, eight. I did not see that. Garcia's three out of four at the free throw when, line. When? Today? That's the tenth foul on Kentucky. I beg your pardon. So two shots here for Anderson Garcia. 
And that just seems shocking to me. Steps to the line down to our left. The AM students and band behind that bucket. He fires and he connects. Four for Anderson Garcia. Wagner exits for Kentucky. Reeves is back. We'll go look Edwards on the Twitter at right after this game. Avisic back in on the front line. 91-82. Texas a and The Cinderella nine. Castle Garcia in Disney World has not ten. burned down. The article Senior and video compilation originated from a satire and parody in. website. There you go. Oh, tracking, Theo. Tracking, buddy. I wasn't sure. Shepard quickly across the line, right wing, fakes a three against Johnny, the caller. Johnny, it sounds like it's Mitchell. bullshit. Reed Shepard gets it back deep left rear. <laughs> At the top, Dillingham between the legs on Washington inside the final minute. Out to Reeves, they can't get a shot. Around to Dillingham, fires a three blocked by Obasiki, batted back to him by Taylor. Obasiki gets fouled as he gets it to the top of the arc, and that'll stop the clock with 51.8. 51.8 to go, 10-point lead, Texas A&M. Kentucky should have been playing, containing guys off the bounce, but you have to take pride in defense, and that's what, when we talk Bob about experienced, it was fake. Players, experienced players know how to guard. They know how to guard, lead in the game. What the hell are you doing on parody sites in Summer Oak? They made it tough for Kentucky from the start all the way up until now. They're not giving he them said easy Disney work. World, Especially says Johnny. Drops to the rim. Dre Mitchell. Commits the foul, his fifth. He fouls out of a game for the first time this year. And Manny Obasiki. Fake news, fake news. To shoot a pair <laughs> for Texas A&M. Containing guys off the bounce. Can you guard your own man and keep us out of rotation? That's the kind of defense you got to teach younger players. But younger players don't buy in right away. Some of those in blue and white begin to make their way toward the exits here at Bridgestone Arena. Number one and number two. Yeah, in this Disneyland and Disney World out. literally have their After own their fire departments. Game. Obasiki with one more free throw. He fires, swishes it, and the lead is 11 for the Aggies. Nine for Manny Obasiki. 93-82, Texas A&M. Shepard across the line with 45 seconds. Shout out to the 74 in the chat. It down low. Hit that subscribe. Give the video a like. Taylor. Taylor. Knives left across the We're line doing a Aggies lot of March Madness streams here on the channel. Left. And the Aggie fans behind the Texas A&M bench across the floor from us standing and rejoicing, knowing that they're about to pick up their second win here, their 20th of the year, and earn a spot in the semifinals tomorrow. They got a little small section, but it's rowdy. They've been cheering the whole game, but the Texas A&M Aggies have given them something to cheer for. They played hard, made shots, made threes, taking care of the ball. Robes says, yeah, if you ever look above the fire department at Disney, it was Walt's apartment. Wade Taylor knocks down the free throw for his 31st. He scored 62 in two games against Kentucky, make it 63 after he knocks down the second. 32 tonight. One like away from 35, y'all. On January 13th, 95-82. Dillingham right wing for the catch. Pulls up for a three. That one's good for Rob Dillingham. He'll finish with 27. Three, but too little too late. Point eight left. Taylor out of a trap. Throws it to Garcia up the left sideline. Across the stripe to Obasiki. And Reeves will foul to stop the clock with 20.9 remaining. Fourth Upset on alert. Reeves. Excuse me, fifth on Reeves. He becomes the second Wildcat to foul out tonight. My Spurs are and getting whooped. By says DJ Butterfly. Wayne. Manny Obasiki has nine points. He Arizona winning their game tonight, tonight, Bob? Excuse me, he's got 15. I'm just way behind. Yeah, I can't get that perfect. game again. A Pac-12 network. Trio again, though. 32 for Taylor. 23 for Radford, 15 for Obasiki. That's a winning point. MKI, he, 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 he. <laughs> Obasiki rattles in the first. He got 16. Also getting that game last night under their belt. At least the Clips join is losing, says T. Kubler. important is to get that game, game under your belt, taking the pressure off. Manny Obasiki with one more, looking for his 17th point on the way. And good. Coleman returns. He will get All right, point bets Washington have been paid out. Gives him a high five. And I am tumbling, y'all. I am free falling in the point standings. Leads by 12, 97 to 85. 
What a performance by the Aggies tonight. Dillingham across the line against Garcia. Back to the basket, left wing, inside to Avisic. Spins left and stuffs it. Seven for Zivanovir Avisic. But that will be it. Radford gets it across the line. Taylor waving bye-bye to the big blue fans inside of this building. Radford dribbles out the final seconds, and Texas A&M has eliminated the number two seed at the SEC tournament, going almost wire to wire. Both to games Kentucky. today here on the channels, y'all. The underdog gets the victory. Wade so Taylor, it looks like it's going to be Bulldogs versus Aggies. Just three guards that were relentless, knocking down shots from outside, being able to put so much pressure on their back line. Nufo ain't smart enough and to go they, look at no community page, Sheila. Nufo does not have the brain capacity to find so you the community the page. For tomorrow, the number nine I was waiting for halftime. I forgot the to bet. This is Butterfly. <laughs> is through, and one and two you know, Sheila won some points there. After their first game. <laughs> If you're looking for a deal on tickets, tonight and tomorrow might be your opportunity. There will be a lot of tickets available. <laughs> Texas A&M with a fan. All right, so I'm going to turn that off. We'll throw it up here on the box score page for just a little bit. For those of you that have player props that you're wondering about. And then we're going to go find an NBA game to listen in on. I was here all day, you know. So was I. So was I. I didn't get shit. I lost 200,000. Life is hard. All week on my spring break. <laughs> Cry me a river. All right, getting a little weird here. Gonna get a little weird. We're even gonna stay on CBS, y'all. We're gonna stay on CBS. Just for a looky see. Let's see how fast I am, y'all. Let's see how fast I am. See if there's any way to make this work. All right, so let me go down here, turn off these logos. First thing we're going to try to do is listen into the... Oh, this one went final. It went final while I was looking at it. All right, Orlando, Toronto. Orlando, Toronto has 155 remaining in the third. That will be our bogey. That's the one we're looking for. Lost a few points in today's game, says Dab Dave. UK played their game ass, says Darren Smith. <laughs> yeah, so Raptors magic, and we'll just try to catch the end of the games. Listen in on some Grady Dick. 
first stream I won, this stream I lost. Jacob Young, welcome to the Berserkers. General Thor will be proud. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? Right, we'll listen in on the Toronto broadcast. them together, I would I would call that a goaltend. There was not enough space between the touch and the back. Right, let me see if I can find the game. Now, if it's like I said, if it's on the backboard and it's on the way up, you're okay. But you know what's going to make this difficult. The space, Javon. The space, but on the catch, because there was so much air on the basketball, it's almost like Brady had to overrun the basket. Flash, Val hits 10K hand, subs, faints, knocks over death, hand. starts a yep. three alarm fire in Bahala Studios. Defender, Update right, at 11. So had he been able to get that right hand on the basketball, use his backside to shield him and Could create happen. some space. Just We're going to try something is, different you know, here, y'all. A little the NBA slides, red zone. Slightest of light to get to the basket. No copyright intended. I don't think this is in question, but because it's that that inside not the Toronto hand, broadcast, that's we going. To the defender, <laughs> it allows him to get the time to recover in transition. Well, they're still looking it over. Sakak is giving it a, a long look, and when they give it this long a look, sometimes. All right. So as we move into NBA coverage, we got 1,900 views, 37 likes. The call on the floor will stand. Sheree Mitchell. I think my and contacts Gordon are blurry. Kirkland talking with Sakakis. All right, looks like they just had a re video review. Successful challenge. Unsuccessful challenge. We'll get the ruling. All right, I got to get synced up. So Orlando will lose the timeout. I've reviewed the ruler on the floor is unsuccessful. I'm sorry, the ruler on the floor stands as a goal team. It is inconclusive. It is an unsuccessful challenge by Orlando. They will be charged a timeout. They have no more challenges for the game. Well, like I said, if it's that close and then you see the three together. So count the deuce for Grady. Give him six. And the Raptors cut the lead to 11, 84 73 with 11 seconds to go. Third quarter. Magic inbound. They get it to Bancaro. Runs it front court. Porter jumps out on it. Backs up near center. Gets it to Cole Anthony. Raises up for three. Back rim, no good. And that's the way the third quarter ends. I sink it up right at the end of the third. At halftime, up by 11 now. And the Raptors got a mount, a comeback on the last lap. One lap of the track to go, 84-73, Orlando by 11. This is Tangerine Raptors basketball across the TSN radio network. Do you have an invention idea but don't know You're what to do leaving? next? Call InventHelp now for free information on how to oh, get started Are you getting rain now? InventHelp provides invention services that help everyday inventors get yeah, started got, with their we idea. Wet, con wet concrete out we here, y'all. So it's uh, nationwide who will explain it's the raining here on the 500, the sprawling 500 Over acre 10, patents Valhalla Sports Talk. Services. Our services include professional Ranch, materials needed to showcase your invention. Meat processing and plant and studio. And modeling that help you demonstrate your idea. <laughs> get down to the details of your idea with a technical drawing. The InventHelp data bank includes thousands of companies who have agreed to review new ideas. We've been helping inventors since 1984. Let's help you next. 
Take advantage of the opportunity to get started today. Call 1-800-353-6081. That's 1-800-353-6081. Again, 1-800-353-6081. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for a new phone. Perfect timing. Right now, get up to 70% off a new phone when you trade in an eligible phone. Plus, and this is the amazing part, they're on the fastest 5G network in Canada. What amazing place is this? Uh, the Bell Store. The Better with Bell Spring event is the perfect time to get on Canada's fastest 5G network. Visit bell.ca slash spring event for details. Bell. Spring just got better. Overdrive, Toronto's favorite way to drive home. Weekdays, 4 to 7. If I was smart, y'all, if I was smart, which I am not, I would have had thumbnails ready at least. Fourth quarter time, Orlando leading Toronto. 84. 73. And we'll tell you that fourth quarter is brought to you by CMC Markets. Take your trading to the next level with zero dollars commission on stocks. Do the Raptors have a comeback in them? Shorthanded. And also just short period, comparatively speaking, on the floor. And they got Ramsey on a push right at the mid-court line as Cole Anthony was bringing it front court. Will we get ads for Tim Hortons because we're watching Canada? Maybe. Front court, Orlando. (laughs) In the corner, Fultz to Mo Wagner. Three good. Do you process venison and elk there? Uh, kind of. Spence up for the Raptors since the third quarter. Joel Ingles, pick and roll, top of the key, pick and roll. Uh, I kind of process both those here. And now you got to kick out to the right corner. <laughs> they got Bruce Brown on a block on a triple handoff. All right, let me switch to the white hat, yo. And the cart wobbling right out of the gate here in the fourth quarter. Oh, how a stop would help right now. Let me switch to the white lid. Like speed. Lays it up and in. Orlando up. I passed it. You did not. Yeah, that's just big boy basketball. Well, Cowboys, Tyrone Smith signs with the Jets. Slam dunk. Ramsey comes back and gets to the cup for the finish. Raptors down 14. Cowboys rarely participate in free agency. From Ingles, floats it up and in. Uh, points means points, but with a V. Kasagawa. Arigato. Yeah, Cowboys. Kendricks decided to go to the Cowboys instead of the Niners. So impressive is how patient he is in that pick roll on his size. You gotta really speed him up. All in. Or windows closing fast. What you talking about? Let's take a break. 10:56, fourth quarter. Points equal life. Butterflies and Valhalla comes first. When you give blood or plasma thank through you. Canadian thank you very blood much. services, you're not just <laughs> helping someone. You're helping someone be there for their family, give back to their community, inspire a movement, maybe even change okay, the world. Okay, thank you. Because when you donate blood or plasma through you Canadian so no, blood say no services, problem. you don't just help in save Japanese. lives. You change so many more. I got to get me you Japanese saying. You make all I the difference. I could probably get that from Brock. Join Canada's Lifeline and book now at blood.ca. This spring, transform your ride with the 2024 Here, I'm gonna Toyota. Here, I'm going to try Camry this, y'all. I'm going to try this. upgrade from Maple Toyota. With its athletic styling, great We're gonna power, go to and fuel efficiency, Toyota Safety Sense, and high and levels of innovative am, technology, you'll be sure to enjoy wherever the road Sports takes you this spring. Because Valhalla Sports Doc is verified, bona fide, certified Camry on X. is in stock and available now for I immediate delivery at Maple Toyota. Make it easy. Must Maple, $25 a month. Com. We're going to ask part of the Zankin Auto Group. AI Grok. We know that buying a new pair of frames can be a big decision. They can change your look from deep Give thinker me. Let's go top 10 to style influencer. Over here. 
Top the print of an eye. But don't forget to choose the Most lens that suits you too. During our spring sale, get 50% off lens upgrades. From polarizing lenses Japanese. to thinner and lighter options, we have a wide range of choices to create your perfect pair. Visit your local Specsaver store and get 50% off And here we go, Grok doing its Available thing. for a limited time. Conditions apply. See specsavers.ca. There's no better way to drive home than with Hayes, Noodles, and the O-Dog. Overdrive every weekday, 4 to 7 p.m. on TSN 1050. <laughs> These aren't exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> 56, fourth quarter, Raptors down. Just like that. 16, These are the common sayings 75. and proverbs that are used in everyday conversation. got a hill to climb suddenly, Javon. Nah, Karubi, Yaya Koei. Fall seven times, stand up eight. Mid pick and roll, mid pick and roll, mid pick and roll. Lachingo Achiche, one time, one meeting. Even monkeys fall from trees. You say it. Sarah, Saru Mo Kai Kara Ochiru. Raptor basketball shot. Val hunts Havelinas on his 500 acres. <laughs> One high side into the Nine corner. Brown back to quickly. Puts it up, blocked by Fultz, and then Isaac snuffs out. Review the old the and learn the new. Attempted putback. Onko Chishin. Onko Chishin. Grip on it right now. Dumplings over flowers, y'all. Hana Yori Dango. Eagles front court. Three years on a stone. Is she no Une Mosan name? Played that one well. Quickly refused. Don't to be give screened. up. Folks near side. Akira Mira. Nah. Giving, giving birth to a baby is easier than worrying Brown, about it. And it's knocked away by Folks. And Zuru Yori. Umuga. Yasushi. Here comes quickly front court. Take me to point to Porter. <laughs> now to Olenek. In the lane to Porter, knocked away. Orlando makes the steal. Someone look that up. <laughs> Isaac in the lane. After the rain, the in. ground hardens. Ame Fute Chi Katumuru. Raptors having a tough time in this fourth quarter. Did I? Am Orlando. I saying them right? On a nine Alex, am run. I saying them right? And the 11 point lead is ballooned to 18. They're looking for more coming front court left to right. Anthony on the dribble down to the baseline. Hook pass out top. Ingles to Isaac. Three ball near side. No good. Rebound Cole Anthony into the corner to Markel Fulks. Drives. Learn baseline. one, two, three first. No Itchy knee sign. Here comes Toronto. Itchy. Me. Bruce Brown on the Sound. into the lane, reverse layup. Thumbs up from in. Alex. Bruce. There you go. 93-77. <laughs> Cole Anthony front court gets it to Ingles. Back to Anthony. My favorite was even monkeys fall from trees. Sauru Mo Ki Kara. Oshiru. Not much you can do at 30 feet out. I didn't know Mahalo was bilingual. Trilingual now, bro. English, Espanol. I do know some Deutsch as well, some uh, German. So quadlingual. Before long, I'll be right there with Ivanka. Bruce knocks it in the bottom of the well. Raptors cut it to 96-80. So what, what did I said? Common sayings. I wanted. Well, I put Atlanta common sayings. Court. It gave me exactly what I asked for. Common folks near side. Really? You want to keep him out of the lane. In. Swing it Definitely. to Ingles. Back to folks. Backs in quickly. All over him. Tough fall away. No good. Rebound Bruce Brown. 
Out to Ramsey. Takes it right at Ingles. And the foul. Okay, it's here we go. Play by the Top 10. Greetings in Japanese. The contact, if the guy's not square, you're gonna Ohio. Ohio. Good morning. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. Ombawa. Good evening. Sayonara. Goodbye. Oyasumi Nasai. Good night. Good contest on the jump shot. Otsukara Desu, a way to say you're tired. Itekimasu, Itekimasu, I'm leaving. Tadaima, Tadaima, I'm going home. Franz Wagner, front court. Haji Mashat, Haji Mam Mashait. Nice meeting you. Yoroshiku Ongai Shimasu. A polite way to say please take care of me. Bruce doing a nice job tonight. Uh, 98-83, 7 on one to go. Again, drive, same thing to Mo Wagner. This time yes, no, 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 uh, T.Q. Where They used to have a lot of the linguist stuff. Uh, mostly now it's signal and a little bit of drones. Kelly stops, kicks it to Trent, corner jumper, got it for three in the bottom of the well. English to Japanese on Google has local translations. Trying to punch back. What time should I get ready tomorrow? My dad's coming between 9.50 and 10. To go. We approach uh, you should get ready at 9.30. You should be ready to go, Bob. Otani made eye to contact Wagner with Valhalla at Camelback Ranch. Now he no speaks good. Japanese. Rebound. Here comes Ramsey. <laughs> Kicks it to Trent. Good, good. <laughs> almost. <laughs> the dribble, pull up three. That's Got tough. it. Bang, 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 bang. That's three. Tough. Gary says to Franz Wagner, take that. With you, Gary having himself a day 27 points, six for pronunciation is difficult. The Truth, he knocked down was Truth. Ball moves Ohio, in here in transition. Konishiwa, backing up on him. Konbanwa, okay, Sayonara, he's retreating. I'm gonna stop. Oh, yeah, Sumi Nasai. I'm feeling good. Otsukare sama desu. Makes it 98. Itekimasu. 89 Orlando. 613 fourth quarter. This is 10. Haji Mama Shiti. Yora Shiku. One Gisha now. Uh huh. How about that loose doorknob? Uh huh. Right now we can get a free medium pizza that from two for one pizza. Genius. He Did has no noticeable accent in any language. See, it's not just the kids <laughs> that have selective hearing. Right now, get a free medium one topping pizza with a minimum of $25 before tax and delivery. <laughs> Limited time offer. Online orders only. Just learn greetings. Two for one pizza dot com. One, two, three out. A few basic M. ones and viewers will love it, says Mr. Summer O. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do. Hey, Raptor fans, what's better than the team winning on the court? A win for the kids and a win for you. When you play the MLSC Foundation 50 50 jackpot, Basics. you help communities get kids Japanese and youth off the sidelines words. and onto the court. Last season, over 1 million top in 20 basic won. Japanese words. Tell me, Grok. Only one way to know. Visit 5050raps.com for your tickets today. Breaking story from Alpine News Network. Ron is a teacher helping right, Grok's doing minds, its thing. this time he needed help. Alpine credits and a cosmic superhero doing with its a thing. consolidation loan. She conjured a magic There we go. We got 20. Consolidation 101. Lesson Konnichiwa. One, consolidate that into one low monthly payment. Arigato. Lesson two, nothing. It's a short book. Own your home. So me masin. Alpine credits can help. Hey. Alpine credits where homeowners get Light. approved. Just for license 12616. TSN 1050. Listen anywhere. Stream your favorite oh. shows in your car. Available on Apple CarPlay. Ashima. Radio app. TSN 1050. Do Ashima. Everywhere you want it. Sayonara. 98.89. Wakari Mason. Wakari Mason. Fourth quarter. Wakari Mashita. On the part of the show that you have to pay for during the commercial. Gary. An animated discussion Nani? about the MVP. In my Don't go. eyes right now, there is no question. Itsu. Itsu. It Hamilton, Ontario, Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Yeah, he's With all due oh, respect to the Jokic people, 
So you have to. Hi. Hi. Come in, Nasai. Oh, yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Sumi. Nasal. Jamal Murray. Yeah. Van Carroll in the lane, floats it up, gets it to Carter, got away with the point ball. Credit. You don't get no points. Ain't seconds. nobody getting no points. Turn it over and give it to Toronto. They get a stop, and they're coming to cut the nine-point lead You are getting better. Well, you got to right you got to get Gary a touch, or you got to get him in some action. I got to, I got to. Where he's running off and can at least create. I got to find my zen, Alex. For you, right? Create a slip. I hope someone's time stamping Gary's this. Gary's cooking 15 <laughs> shots, 27 <laughs> points. Bruce Have you been Brown to Japan? No. Grady Dick, reverse layup is good. Grady is. Dick. Right, Bruce Brown comes off to his Grady right Dick for two. Grady, excuse me, Gary Trent Jr. is drifting to that right corner. Grady Dick with the cut baseline. They still Some can't say yield. Lays it in, and they got the foul on Olenek. Kelly saying to referee Sheree Mitchell, he stuck his left arm out. All right, we got 539 remaining in this one. I'm not sure where we're going next. He gets caught in some tough positions. Baji there, you know, there's some confusion on the ball oh, screen. Guys, they're probably not he even updating the score here. He can't be. Whatever you're doing, whether it's going to be switch, whether you're staying, it's got to be aggressive so that there's not that breakdown in defense. And there, Suggs recognizes it. He sniffs it out and gets right down. Very good language, Valhalla, says Sheila. And Kelly's in a tough spot. Alex says Valhalla is good, really. Free throw good, 101-91. Is Val on the phone ordering Japanese Orlando takeout again? <laughs> <laughs> Raptors front court, Olinik drives, reverse layup. Look up, up basic nice Japanese move. baseball terms. There we go. Raptors down eight, top of the stretch, 523 to go. Suggs drives on Grady, kicks it to Franz Wagner. Raptors denying, they get it to Bancaro. Drives, he's got Bruce Brown, turns now to back him down, double comes. They kick it cross court. Suggs deep three good. That's okay, tough. I'm gonna stand for these, y'all. I'm gonna tough. stand for these ones. Top 20 basic Carolina Japanese baseball terms. 104-93. Grady's three back, no good. Short. Rebound out of bounds to Orlando. And Van Carroll, the timing on that pass, right? As soon as he gets below the free throw line, is when that double comes. Let me get ready. And now you have Grady Dick on the backside. You know, All right, the first up, one. Two on one. Suggs, the is home the run. Was closing out to the corner to deter that pass. Home run. Home run. Suggs to Bancaro at the nail. Drives on Grady. Spins. Next one is strike. No rebound Olenek. Outlet Bruce Brown. Raptors. Victor Raiku. Victor Raiku. Grady kicks it out. Victor Raiku. Three in the air. Got it again. Ball. Gary's got 30. Raptors Boru. down 104-96. Boru. That's a big time vet move by Kelly Olenek. He Pitcher. gets a kick out and doesn't even Icha. hesitate. Right times it gets it right back. Catcher. Gary Trent Jr. who knocks Icha. it down. He knows he has the hot hand. Suggs on Batter. the lob to Wendell Carter Bada. underneath. Puts it up. Olenek got Runner. it. Runner. But Carter Runner. 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 up and in. That's 262 pounds there. Hit. All muscle. Hito. Hito. 96 10 point lead. Out. Olenek. Out. Out. Back to Kelly. Cross Walk off. To Bruce Sayonara. Grady drive. Kick it out. Hit Goal and run. Hito in the hey. Stolen base. Franz Wagner. To Rui. Sacrifice fly. Just say Furai. Carter. Sacrifice bunt. Just say Bunto. Timeout to Double Rondo. play. Back to 13. Daburu Pude. Walk. Foul Buru, foul Boro, foul Buru, ground ball, Goro, fly ball, Hurai, two strikes, Tushu, Sonoruki, Tushasu, Sonoruki, two out, Su Ato, Su Ato, so we will keep it here. You'll be better. Orlando up 13, 109, 96. The Raptors <laughs> against Javon. Great fight tonight. A lot of positive. What is hot dog and beer in Japanese? Some of it is Dang just it. the fact that their cart doesn't go as fast as Orlando's because of the horsepower. 
Yeah, and, and you know, in our open, it was it was the same that thing was we killing me. Right? Team playing some really good basketball, <laughs> and you have to give them credit. This in Japanese, a hot dog is called but then there's those two or three hot dog dogu. You know, and a beer is called bidu. Hot dog dogu bidu. And that's what you guys what you see in here as well. Not a matter of effort. But just those two minutes and, and how do you you know and every impressive, game, yeah. He is maybe he got the high those, IQ. Those two minutes spurt, those two minute stretches. Front court Raptors down 13, 327 to go. Olinick gets it to Trent. Ikutsu got no point though. Oh drive gets into the Oshikada Aishi. And they called Kelly on the walk. And they said he dragged the pivot foot. Turn it over and give it to Orlando. Hot dog beer. Hot dog go beat him. <laughs> Suggs, front court. 3.13 to go. 109.96. On Gets it to Bancaro. Kicks it cross court. Cole Anthony, shot fake, drives into the lane. Floats it up, no good. Franz Wagner down with the rebound. You gotta have that list handy during Dodger game. Just the tallest guy standing there with his arms up, and he got the ball. I'm not reading nothing that Nufo puts in there if I don't know what it says. I'm not doing it. And to keen all that, make yourself available. Some guys are in those positions, and you know, they're doing hiding it. behind the defense. And not, <laughs> they're not playing wide. They're not giving their, their teammates a target. Franz is the complete opposite. Free throw good for Franz Wagner. Give me some points. Ikatsu Kanapuento O. Orlando. Moshi Teki Dusai. Six guys in double figures. Now into the game, Canadian. Caleb Houston. Jamal Mosley recognizing the moment. Having the Canadian. About no. How about uh, no points for you, Butterfly? Get into the game in his home country. 111.96. Front court. Oh, butterfly. <laughs> she be serious Toronto. about her voice. Yeah. Trent still looking for more. To Olenek. Brown into the corner. Abaji drives into the lane. Oh, love it. Ochai. By the way, y'all, by the way, across the lane. I love to information see only. Hand used on the Yesterday, Japan moved past the United States of America as the most viewers on Valhalla Sports Talk. Japan moved past the United States as the most viewers here on Valhalla Sports Talk in the last 28 days. Butterfly. Pointo Nashi. Pointo Nashi. The dunk. Olinick lays it up. No good. Tips it up and in. Two minutes to Circle go. Circle K has the bet. Hot dog. <laughs> Orlando. <laughs> Wagner has it knocked away. Stolen by Gary. There's Trent only 23 Jr. in here. Dribble Gary to the. And everybody else is missing out. Everybody else in the world is missing out. On that one, you lost the ball. You didn't have the angle. And the guy who shot the ball ended up on the ground. How about some points for me in Swedish? Vad Sagom. Naga points tonight. For me. Seven of ten from distance. I want to try to have all of America hot dog at everywhere. What? This is the free throw. Gary's second one good. 113, 101. Suggs front All court. those Japanese Vikings fans. Gets to Ben Carroll in the lane. <laughs> floats it up. No good. Rebound to Olenek. Well, Raptors sure have Kimberly the Kimberly Rogers says roll tide roll. What's up, Kimberly? 
that mid-screen roll, the Joe Ingles stuff. Quickly drives into the corner to Bruce Brown. Far side, right wing, kicks it to Trent. Gary, deep three, straight away, no good. Rebound, Olenek, back up, no good. Tips it up, no good, puts it up and in. I'm definitely going to have to make me some flashcards, y'all, no doubt. Come on, down the stretch. Come on, down. Satu Ariko. Satu Ariko. Satu Ariko. Boru. Hey, Sha. Hey, Sha. Bata. Bata. Hito. Aro. Sayonara. Hito. Endon. Toi. Toi. Isai Fuyai. Isai Banto. Sabaru Pure. Faoboru. Boru. Furangai. Su Satanai. Su Satanai Ku. Orlando with a Suato. One thirteen, one oh three. Van Carroll near side. Houston catch and shoot three. No good. Rebound Porter. Outlet Trent. Quickly on the bounce. Gets it to Porter. Three. I'll have to look those up later. Rebound Carter. <laughs> what are your Japanese? I have no idea. I just know they're here. I just know they're watching. Take it over center. Not sure if they're going to shoot it ask, or not. Ask, uh, look ask like Alex if he likes Spock taking the monkey. The chimpanzee. I found that I say so Japanese better when I say it in like a deep, and the Raptors will have 11.8 to go. <laughs> like a, a deep voice, like you'd hear in the samurai movies. <laughs> I have to channel my inner samurai to say. The Raptors will do the same. Komuran, Sutaraiku, Boru, Pisha, Kayachi. Some people yelling shoot because. I don't know. It might matter. They're messing up the numbers in Vegas. All right, it this one's game. Vegas. We got a ball Doesn't game. Let's go find another one. It's a final. Orlando beats Toronto. 113-103. And, and you know, this was another good fight by the Raptors, I thought. You know, they, they match the toughness in the first quarter, the intensity that Orlando started the game with. They came out and, and punched back. But, you know, seeing in the third and the fourth, Joe Ingles. Where I intensity. Really, you know, he was a Alex, we do the Kings in the NHL thoughts. to that day. You know, Emmanuel Quickly's energy in the first half was really what carried the Raptors. All right, so it looks like CBS is not updating. In the second half. Now, spread this team. And again, you, you learn from this. You, you take some the positives. You take the, the, the ads chimpanzees. Name is Fock. Fock tanking. You know, if you're facing this team again, it's going to be Sunday, a quick turnaround. <laughs> yeah. So you have, you know, some of the game plan. And, you know, when they went to their double team on Ben Carroll, there's a number of times where he didn't necessarily have a great game in terms of numbers and, you know, scoring the basketball. But he made the right plays. And eight assists for him, nine rebounds to go along with his 17 points. Alex is going to be walking and around Japan to today to well. his homies. A bit more crisp and having a, hey. a bit more of a sense of urgency. What is Fock? because he's passing the ball well what is fuck you know for his team so you know this orlando team tip your hat to them right they're they're fighting for a lot right now and credit jamal mosley and congratulate him on you know his his extension but you know you got another game up got to get better yep and the next game for both of these guys will be sunday when they play at the amway center in orlando the Raptors. I'm having a little Keep bit of trouble fight. here with CBS. Like my computer don't want to cooperate. 113-103 is the final. Orlando defeats Toronto for the entire Arizona group. down by 10. They, they say, I figured they would blow it today, this dude. I really did. But I, I can't see the game. Apparently, the Pac-12 network, network not on Post -game Direct TV. With Jim Taddy and the crew. Good night from Toronto. I'm going to end that audio. The National Basketball Association. We'll try to find the next one. Uh, we'll listen. Well, I better want listen to the LA people, right? Point 
points. Right corner, Marshall, pounded by Norman Powell. Bounce pass to Marshall at the free throw line from Murphy. Back to the top for Alvarado, left wing Marshall. I'll Those catch your checks in. Skips at Nance, right corner three over Zubox. Hits the front of the rim. Williamson, weak side rebound. Zion skips. Marshall, left corner, tries from three ball. Off the lip of the rim, the rebound hits the deck. Another offensive rebound for Nance. Trey Murphy, the third right wing. The third bite at the apple coming for New Orleans. Clippers by six, down by six. Underneath Zion, Muscles goes up. Blocked from behind. Zubats bats the rebound to George, and the Clippers stand tall. Three chances for New Orleans. Nothing to show for it. George right wing, a three makes us a one possession game. Norm dribbles, mid-range, the foul off the front of the rim. Zion got caught with his hand on the body. And Norman I try to sync up with the video. Doing what he does best. Drawing the whistle. And he'll head to the line. He felt the hand from Williamson. Yeah, no betting right now. I don't have no bets loaded up, Billy. Sorry, buddy. Immediately goes up. No he bets loaded up. We're just kind of hanging out tonight. Whenever I feel contact, We're going to go to the end forward. of all these NBA games until the night is over three in the three association. The line today. Here comes the first. Four for four. And this Pelican crowd. All right, we're synced up. 9.01 to go in the fourth quarter. It's 92-87. Pelicans over Clippers. Four attempts in the first half. In the second half, they are 13 for 14. Maybe, Alex, maybe. Zion's going to check out of the ball game. Norm. All right, Zion out. Pelicans this wearing black jerseys with a... Lime green Both trim. Clippers in all white. Point game, three minutes gone in the fourth. And the Clippers create some separation between them and New Orleans in the standings. The four seed in the Clippers, the five seed in the Pelicans. Right elbow, Nance holds the ball at the pocket. Chest pass, left corner, Murphy three. Connects. Pelicans raining it in from downtown. 95-88, New Orleans by seven. Clippers right to left. Zubats. Left wing for Norman Powell. Down the left alley. Back to Zoo. Gives it up. PG-13. Jones in his shadow with 10 to shoot. George right wing. Crossover around the screen. Watch Steve old Hill movies on YouTube, says hand. Alex. Right corner three. Bullseye. Paul George had no business taking that three-pointer home. 95-91 New Orleans. 8.15 to go in the I'm fourth. I'm not synced up as well as I Pelicans thought I was. Left to right. Ingram left wing. Alvarado retort three. Connects. Back-to-back -back threes, and the Pelicans with a response again. 98-91, eight minutes to play. Clippers down seven. We're trading haymakers here in the fourth. You were just joking, George, Billy? Okay, buddy. Watch Sorry. Another triple. Gets another triple. Oh, here we go. Four minutes gone. Four-point game. Fourth quarter action, 98-94. Georgia's second three. The retaliation with a big-time hit. New Orleans with the ball. Nance straddling the three-point line. Right wing with 10 to shoot. Hands it off to Ingram. Down the right alley. Pops on the baseline. Sticks it. Tough shot from Brandon Ingram. As the ball is kicked towards half court. 7.31 to go for Ingram. Just his third field goal on 10 attempts. Defensive chance echoing here at the Smoothie King Center. Across the timeline comes Amir Coffey. Hammer dribble left hand, finds the hot hand in George, 24 points. Underneath the Zubats, his pass deflected, and Alvarado the pickup. Five on one, New Orleans. Murphy, right wing three. Hits the heel, over the backboard, and out of bounds. Wow, the Pelicans had five on one, and they give the ball back to the Clippers. That's Ronnie a Plum was playing in Australia or Europe Six in a couple years. Game. Here comes the claw. Coffee will head to the bench. A column Is Wendy doing? The heart I don't know. I'm not watching that game. New Orleans. Alvarado steps out. A hundred for New Orleans. Is that game going on right now? Four for the Clippers who are trying to sweep the back-to-back -back and win their second in a row in this building. Would be the first time since 2013-2014. Leonard right edge of the arc. Dribbles left hand. Finds oh, Denver, San Antonio. They're the in right. the third. He calls this winning time. Retreats left to logo. All right, we'll go there next. The right hand. Finds George left free throw line. We will go there Back next, the chat. Column on him. George trying to create separation. Shakes and fires from the baseline. Off the back iron. Weak side rebound Ingram. Using all seven foot three of that wingspan. He brings it across the timeline, takes it down the right alley, flies by Zubats, and a foul. Zubats trying to say he was hooked. And this will be side out for New Holy Orleans. Jesus, says MKI. His Holy third. Jesus. 6.47 to go, fourth quarter, New Orleans 100, Clippers 94. 
And it will be Murphy to trigger it. Clippers led in the first quarter, but New Orleans has been able to hang on to the advantage since then. The Clippers huh. did draw even late in the wow, third. Wow, King's Angel killing right the Blackhawks. In by. the second. Ricochets into the hands of Zubats. Clippers right to left. A three makes it a one possession game. Down by six. George right wing jumps in the air. Zoo on the roll. His floater over Nance. No. His put back. Yes. Four point game. 196 New Orleans. 6.20 to play. Pelicans left to right. And a timeout. Willie Green. We'll take it with them. Catch your breath. Enjoy your break. Because after this one, we got basketball the rest of the way. 196. New Orleans by four with 6.17 to go in the fourth. We'll be back for more in the Clippers Audio Network. Join our team to build a stronger L.A. At the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, you'll receive competitive pay, excellent benefits, and many opportunities for professional and personal growth while keeping the water and power flowing to our city. Be a part of the team providing sustainable and reliable electricity and water for all Angelinos. Apply today at joinladwp.com. That's joinladwp.com. Clipper Nation, the future is now. Hey, 2024, 2025 LA Clippers season membership at our new home is on sale now. Built for the fan, Into a Dome will redefine the live basketball experience and put you closer to the action for every thrilling minute. If you're looking for great seats at top value, now is your best chance to score both. You can also gain access to the wall. The Clippers Madonna play play for, uh, be part of the ultimate home court advantage. Start play for the uh, today by visiting Clippers. North Stars slash season ten. At any point, or was he too uh, too young still? Hey, Clippers! Maybe fans, not even in this earth. If you earth. ever feel anxious, overwhelmed, or need immediate help, the LA County Department of Mental Health is here. Billy for says, you. "Let's go, the Clippers!" The Department of Mental Health offers free emotional support, service referrals, and crisis counseling. Call our twenty four seven helpline at one 854 seven 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 one. That's one 854 seven 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 one. Or visit our website at dmh.lacounty.gov. Remember. The ball is your base. court. With NBA League Pass, you get so much game. Even regular season games? Yep. Even some of the in-season tournament? Mm-hmm. Can I watch home and away team broadcasts? Oh, yeah. He was his Kawhi's back and miraculously back? healed. Sure. And if my team wins, can I stand yeah, it looks like it, huh? splash water everywhere and scream, yes! It's a miracle! Can we get a normal fan for this commercial? <sighs> Subscribe at NBA.com slash League Pass today. Only select auto market games available and local blackout restrictions apply. Additional charges and other conditions may apply. Visit NBA.com slash subscriber agreement for full terms and conditions. The L.A. Clippers continue their hunt for a Larry O.B. They still want to get that Larry O.B. Don't miss a moment all season long. This is the L.A. Clippers Audio Network. Clippers in New Orleans taking on the Pelicans. Getting down to crunch time, late fourth quarter. And how about P.J. Tucker getting some key minutes in a big-time ball game? Okay, I'll eat him out of the toaster I like tomorrow. it, Adam, because Zion Williamson has been unbothered so far. He has missed just one I ate shot half of them. No, you gave me a, a hundred of them. Madonna played it a season or two with the North Stars and came with the team to Dallas. I thought so. Oh. You need Tucker to be your Williamson stopper. I know it doesn't exist. It's a futile thing to try to stop Zion Williamson, but you can try to make it hard on him. As the Pelicans will inbound near side, 196 New Orleans, 617 to go, fourth quarter, in the final regular season matchup between these two teams. Williamson near block, Zubas the switch with 10 to shoot. Left hand and floater outside. The smile is down. Zion with 31. And the Clippers take it right to left. The lead up to six for New Orleans, 102-96. Left to Logo George, holds it above his head. Eyes Leonard, parishes a pass near block, swings it back to George. Straight away, three. Swirls the iron, and a rebound for Murphy. Oh, it was almost there, but it popped out. New Orleans left to right, and Tucker stops Zion. Behind the back dribble, in and out cross, down the right alley, right corner McCollum, in front of the bench for New Orleans. Straight away, Ingram triple, got it. 105-96, New Orleans back up nine. Clippers right to left. Still a lot of time left. But they need a bucket. Leonard finds Zubats. Right wing for George. Rips through going right. Finds Zoo in the paint. Floats it up. Floats it in. Zubats with a bucket for two. Nine points. 
for Big Zoo. 105 98 New Orleans. And so free agents have been play. crazy. And his dominant. Williamson at the top. Can you stop him? Dribbles with the left hand. Surveys the scene as he eyes help. Gets the screen going right. Turns the corner. Hands it off to Ingram. Right wing pump fix the three. Leonard bites. He shakes. A right elbow jumper from the mid range is flat. George is there to windex the glass. Clippers right to left. Under five to play. Seven point game. One on one with Williamson. PG with 24 points. Step back left elbow jumper. Buries it. Oh, George. 26. And it's a 105 100 Pelican. And we're synced lead. again. With under five minutes to play, we got 437 to go. Clutch time here in New Orleans. Ingram straight away. Leonard on his backside. Hands it off to Herb Jones. Holds the ball. Belt high with eight to shoot. Hands it off back to McCollum. At the top with five. Right wing with four. Sizing up George. Takes it into the paint. The floater. Tucker the rejection. George. And a shot clock violation. So a shot like clock George violation. But the whistle is a shot clock violation with 4.18 to go. Lakers have to beat the well, Warriors the tomorrow. A chance to make it a one possession. Apparently the Lakers have to win every game, every night. That's what I hear from you all in the chat. Yeah, we're still sitting there in the play-on spot with a couple game lead. Straight away, sizing up Williamson, crosses over left hand, through the legs, down the right alley with nine to shoot, fading from the baseline, a tough shot, hits the lip of the rim, Zubat's offensive rebound and a foul. This will go on Ingram. And it will be Clipper ball side out. If you're wondering, Pelicans on the season, 30 Nine and oh, let's check these clutch stats. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing here. Pelicans on the season as a team in the clutch. Now, middle of the pack for the NBA, sitting at 22. Leonard, right wing, turns the corner, rises to the rim, kicks it. Norm open, left wing, sidestep, three ball, short, rebound. Williamson, 345 to go, five point Pelican lead. Right wing, McConnell, pump fakes, flies by two defenders. Tucker taps it, the first to the floor, bats it out, rebound, balls on the deck at the right elbow. Nance gets there. And what do we got? Jump ball. Norm is down, grabbing his left shin. Hopefully he's okay, grimacing in pain. He might be back tomorrow. This is a playoff type atmosphere. Norman Powell, the Clippers' most consistent fourth quarter shooter, is down in a heap. He's helped up to his feet. He barely stumbles to the sideline, and the Clippers are going to have to sub him out. Right, so we're probably headed to He's Denver, San Antonio play. next, y'all. Norm writhing in pain, throws his shoe into the deck. Pelican fans want a tee, but Norm's not complaining about anything other than the fact that he's in pain. And he will head... To the bench. We'll take. We'll stay here for this timeout. God, you hope he's all right, Adam. Five-point Pelican lead. 3:33 to go. It's been the Zion show, but PJ Tucker seems to spark this defense big time down the stretch. Yeah, PJ Tucker with that block on CJ McCollum. Oh, Harden is in street clothes today, y'all. Causing this jump ball, but it looks like unfortunately Norm Powell is leaving the ball game, hoping for a speedy recovery. As he limped off the floor, as you mentioned, without his shoe there, Carlo. Yeah, he's still on the bench, sitting in the area that the Jay guys Ramirez were just had some local sit. wine. JP Powell, the head of trainer for the Clippers. Adam, the Clippers, we've talked about it, but closing games has not been their strength. You got an opportunity, though, to come back with three and a half minutes left. Where do you start on the offensive end? Well, I like how Avita Zubat has gotten a couple of easy looks here in this fourth quarter. I just don't know how much you can live off a steady diet of jumpers and three-pointers in a close game like this against Zion Williams. I didn't Williamson, know they made wine out to the half basket, hour from my house. Whenever he wants. Uh, they make wine in jail. Uh, Norm is getting back. <laughs> Jay Ramirez. <laughs> what a tough guy. Tough, <laughs> tough guy. We're talking about this being a playoff-like game. We've seen guys head to the tunnel, come back in. We've seen bodies at the floor. Every loose ball has been a big. I'm not sure, Bob, what it's on. I think ABC. Grimy. I would love to see the Rockets rise here in New Orleans to knock the Warriors out of the play-in. Says dog catcher. 33 to go. 
Norm and Nance jump. Nance wins it. Ingram at the top. Pelicans left to right. Right corner, Murphy. Flies baseline. Cut off by Tucker. Swings it. Straight away. Murphy attacks underneath. And a dunk for Nance. Ram dunk. Larry Nance Jr.'s dunk erupts a chorus of voices. The Rose is on ABC. 107-100. Pelicans by 7. 315 to play. George left the logo. Zubat skip past Tucker. Right corner three. Hits the front of the rim. Jones the board. Three minutes left. Seven point Pelican advantage. Clippers need a stop. Williamson in between the circles. Dribbling with the right hand. Hip high. Now switches to oh, the left. Both Saunders Dominic. Left both. The logo. Hands it off to Murphy. Left wing three ball. Flat rebound George. Clippers still have life. They move right to left in a hurry. George left the logo. Crosses over twice trying to shake Jones. Wants the screen. Gets it going left from Zubox. Looks for Zoo on the roll. Sizing up Williamson. Taking the right alley. Stops free throw line jumper. Off the front of the rim. It rolls off the left side of the iron. Rebound for Nance. Two and a half to play. Seven point Pelican lead. Can the Clippers come back late in New Orleans? Right wing Ingram. Holds the ball at the hip. 2.20 to go. Crosses over back and forth. The and NBA skated. would hate Hands that summer. Dribble, curls the screen. Takes it to the free throw line. Left wing Murphy. Triple. Too strong. Zubats the rebound. 2.13 to go. Clippers down seven. You got Blue Reese three blocks from you? Left angle extended. Dribbling with the right hand. Looking for Leonard. Halts the handle. Finds him on the near block. Two minutes to play. Leonard turns the corner. Floater in the paint. Sticks it. Oh, Kawhi with a big time bucket. Two possession game. Two minutes to play. 107-102. Catch your breath. Here we go. And the Pelicans Williams hold on and get this win. We're less right than two minutes to go. Directing with a left hand. Levitates, lays it up. No. Rebound. Tucker. Clippers right to left. A bucket makes it a one possession game. Minute 45 to go. Leonard left wing three. Hits the heel. Rebound Ingram. Kawhi felt good. Couldn't knock down his third three try of the night. Ingram on the right wing for the Pels. Takes it baseline. Crosses over. Double team. Hit. Looks for help on the right elbow, finds Williamson. He collides with Norman Powell and a foul. The Clippers, their first in the final two minutes. It will be Pelican ball side out with a minute 26 to go. New Orleans 107, Clippers 102. Coffee is going to check into the ball game. Norman Powell still writhing in pain. And I think that might be the sub. No, he's going to get Zubats. Okay, Clippers going small here, meeting the offense. Oh, Kawhi says butterfly. For Williamson, Tucker oh. now his matchup. 85 seconds to go. Clippers down by five. Pels with the ball. Left corner. Jones swings it Zion right wing. Crosses over to the free throw line. Bounce pass to Jones. Dive. Kicks it. Nance hops up in the paint. Goes up. Lays it in. 75 seconds left. Clippers down seven. Timeout. Dilu. We'll keep it here as the New Orleans crowd rises as one. Screaming to their team. Ion typing up, hyping up his teammates. The, the Clippers' window oh. opportunity shrinks exponentially. And Adam Oslin for the Clippers, not out of it yet. Opportunity to get a quick bucket here. Who are you going to on the offensive end? Sounds like that audio is struggling. Well, Kawhi Leonard is your superstar. Paul George, of course, has been hot at times in this fourth quarter. Those back to back threes in sequence early on in the fourth quarter. I'm reminded of that, but likely going to need a three-point shot late here. We'll see if Norman Powell fan of Kawhi is able to stay out of San Diego State says Jay Ramirez. The fourth lives for moments like this, but I'm just happy to see that he's trying to play through, or at least he was here, Carl. <laughs> Look at that old guy. Yeah, old guy hype. The Clippers, the issue has been the defensive <laughs> rotation. It's not in Zion... Scoring the basketball. I love the crowd cam during the timeouts, y'all. <laughs> I love it. And find the next player for the dunk. No, it will be Highland. Free Leangelo. This is T. Kubler. I'll come with Ron James. Question. Zion Williamson, Larry Nance, and Trey Murphy. How about no? A minute 15 reads the fourth quarter. How about clock. no? 109, 102, New Orleans. Aztec Nation's summer old. for help. Finds Leonard. Stripped by Ingram. Coffee hits uh. the deck. Ball on the floor. Jones has it at the free throw line. And it's back to Ingram. Pelican fans on their feet. Clippers back on the defensive end. Ingram finds Jones left the logo. Seven point New Orleans. Right, one minute, one play. minute to go. Zion right edge of the arc. Rips through. Attacks the lane. Gets fouled by Norm. Zion foul. Going to the hoop. 
Missed his last two free throws. Five free yeah, I think so too, game. Jay Ramirez. And the turnovers for the Clippers, doing them in once again, 15 on the night. Zion to the charity Williamson stripe. Hands on these 31 points on 20 shots. 31 points, 13 for 20 from the field, four assists, three steals on a big night for one Zion Williamson. She listens, I'm still here, we're eating. I may have seen Leandro at the Circle K last week, says Summer O. 70% free throw shooter on the year. He's five for nine. He slaps his hands, says, come on, Z. The sweat glistens atop his forehead and around his shoulders. Dribbles left hand, spins right hand, tries it, hits it, eight point game, 56 seconds left, Clippers. Circle K is the new Twilight Zone, this is Jerry Mary. George, straight away, pulls up for three, hits the left side of the rim, Williams. Missed three, 47 seconds, 21 on the shot. 110-102, New Orleans, And we're about to move over. Next in the right corner, to Denver, Zion. San Antonio. Left, left handed layup off the window. A double bicep flex. Zion with 34. And he is 34 been now for Zion. Pelicans by 10. 30 seconds left. Highland finds Norm. Rips through going right. Turns the corner. The right handed layup high off the window and in with 22 seconds left. Shot clock turned off. 112 104. And the second night of a back-to-back, -back, the Clippers, Clippers still pressuring him. Down the stretch, shot clock is up. Pelicans Not fouling. It out. They'll take the season series. They'll take the game tonight, and they'll move one closer to the Clippers in the standings. 112-104, Pels win as the final horn sounds. Here is Smoothie King. Seven. All right, this one is final. Let's find our next one. Denver, San Antonio here on Valhalla Sports Talk. Denver, San Antonio. 10.33 to go. In the third. <clears throat> we'll listen to the San Antonio announcers. top of the key. He's going to cut right against Wesley, gets a screen from Najee, cuts it in the paint and the whistle, and a foul here against the Spurs. It's a kickball. Right, let me find Martin. the game. Ball out of bounds with 14 on the shot clock. <clears throat> Johnson comes off the floor. I mentioned the fact that Pop wasn't happy about that in the last possession. So Johnson comes out and Pop comes over to talk to Johnson as Champagny comes back on the floor with 14 on the shot clock and 10.33 remaining in the third quarter, or fourth quarter we should say. Out front, it's Najee. All right, Najee, Nuggets right Spurs is on, on Champagne. And in the paint, muscles is the way NBA to and lays it up and in. Christian Brown with the bucket. He's got eight. And it's 90 81, nine point lead. Johnson about to come back in. Wesley driving it inside. Puts up a runner off the rim. No good. It. Rebound tipped up by Wesley off the back of the rim. No. And Peyton Watson with the rebound. Watson comes the other Does way. Does it not Denver switch from there? Against Julian Champagne. Now he's going to try to drive him. Brown into the paint. Off to the right corner for three. Holiday, no. It's off the back. Come on, bro. Rebound back tapped by Wimbenyama, but it goes out of bounds. And the ball will go back. Right, i got to stop to clicking. Or I'm going to crash it. As Johnson will come in, Barlow will check out. Trey Jones will come in. Blake Wesley will come out. 9.55 oh, remaining in the fourth quarter. 90-81. Denver by nine. Greg Popovich having a little learning oh. moment here with Blake Wesley. Pop doing the teaching, Wesley doing the learning. Out from the basketball, it's Peyton Watson. Hands it off to Jamal Murray, played by Jones, seven to shoot. Murray takes the baseline right, left over to try to post up on now Jones. I got to sync up. Back on down to the paint, leans in, fades away. Jumper is good. Right at the shot clock buzzer for Jamal Murray. He's got eight. Uh, what's going on with Oregon, Arizona? Dog catcher, what's going on? Nine-point lead, making an 11-point lead now for Denver, 92-81. You don't think any of the Johnson. ball ball uh, kids are wearing big Posting baller shoes Watson. anymore. Pivots on him, takes him inside, whips a pass. It's intercepted by Murray. That pass intended for Champagne. And now Brown loses the ball out of bounds and a pass that was behind him from Holiday. So a turnover against each team. That was the 10th turnover against Denver. 
Denver with 10 turnovers, 7 points for those turnovers off the Spurs. 13 turnovers by San Antonio, and Denver scored 23 off of those. Jones left of the key, looking for Wemby, too well covered. Right corner, Champetti. Outside right now, it's Branham driving it inside. Branham pivots the lane, one-hander, good. He pivoted underneath and got that shot over Christian Brown. First two points from Malachi Branham. Inside nine minutes to go in the ballgame. And I think I'm saying... 83 As Murray angles left, it's a nine-point lead for the Nuggets. Murray's going to try to post up Jones. He has him at the elbow. Backing him down, double team from Johnson. Pass the face of Christian Brown, working against Wemby. Out to the right corner, catcher two, three. Holiday, it's good. Holiday with a yeah, I'm sure right Grand corner, Canyon three. University would be a big viewer. And it's a 12 point lead I right got, now for Denver. I got less than 90, a thousand with eight and a half minutes to go. <laughs> for Kentucky. I'm sure Bradley. Grand Canyon get a We're bring him in. Holiday lobs the rim. Wimpanyama couldn't direct it in. Najee with the rebound. He gets it ahead to Murray inside to Brown, who lays it up and in. Christian Brown with a bucket. He's got 10 off the bench. And now Denver leads at 97 83. Trey Jones, left corner, Champagny. Mid post, Wimbanyama. Back to Champagny on the give and go, and he got fouled on the way up. A couple of different nuggets were there. I think Brown got him. Good pass there by Wimbanyama. A little give and go. It is Christian Brown who picks up his first. Second team foul. Devin Vassell ready to come in for the Spurs. So eight minutes to go in this one. Next we go to end the night. Well, maybe there might not. Next we'll go to Atlanta versus Utah to close out the evening. Kelvin Johnson having a chat with Pop in front of the Spurs bench. First free throw is off the back of the rim. No good for Champagny. The Spurs from the free throw line tonight, 11 to 15. That's 73%. Computer struggling, y'all. Computer is struggling. 75%. Now over off the field, Nuggets still over 50%. They've been there most of the game. 56% from the floor. Next free throw for Champagne is good. He's in double figures. He's got 10. And again, the Spurs now 11 to 15. The free throw line. Eight minutes straight up remaining in the fourth quarter. 13 point lead, Denver. Peyton Watson's got a left wing. Popping out to get it. Zeke Nagy against Wembenyama. Hands to Jamal Murray, driving on Jones in the paint, puts up a floater. No, got his own rebound and scores. Let me got turned around a little bit that time. Ten points now for Jamal Murray. 99-84. 15 points lead Denver. Jones in the right wing, driving baseline on Christian Brown. Got a pass in the paint. Got Absolutely true, TQ, where I've they mentioned they that, that a number of times away. on the Watson, channel as well. And he gets a pass off inside to you could put four dudes in, the, in a room to live. Victor in the Wimbledon same size room, you try to put two foul. females in, That's and they be trying to foul. kill each other by the end of the first night. So Wemby in foul trouble. So got 11 points Butterfly. And, Only two of nine floor. and, and Jack Collins going to check <laughs> Sheila. in for Victor Wembenyama. <laughs> so Wemby comes out. Collins so far tonight. Has played 12 minutes. He's got 11 I'm points not, and 6 points. I'm not bagging on the ladies. Nagy I'm just telling the truth. Left out of Brown. I'm just Brown telling the truth. Murray at the baseline. <laughs> They'll try a jumper over Champagne. That shot's good Two. for Jamal Murray. And now the Nugget lead is 101-84 with 7-14 remaining in the fourth. Trey Jones gets a screen from Collins. What's up, Tyler? Picked up on a switch by Watson. Driving him in the lane. Trey Jones off balance. No, but a foul. And let's see what the call is here against Denver, I believe. Derek Richardson blew the whistle. I'm Michael just Malone here for a good time, not a long time. This is Butterfly. Murray's telling me he should. And the Rock is cooking, says Tyler. You watching that wrestling. Malone on this last foul call with 7.05 remaining in the fourth quarter. Right now to Denver. The Nuggets lead the Spurs 101-84 with 7.05 to go. To fourth Arizona quarter. lost 74-69. to Not moment. shocking. In and out. I'm over here thinking it's my computer ancient flat screen monitor died last week hand. after two made two, two second long power outages. Order just for you. When guys wear the same shirt, they high five. When girls have the same dress, MVPs they hate it, says Jay Ramirez. On your journey to financial freedom, you're the MVP. And Self is here to assist by getting you credit for your rent payments 100% free. Self Ain't nobody meaner like you get the credit you to the females self and than the other females. Today. Truth. I wake up, turn on the radio. <laughs> What's happening in my Bill city? Bill PGE wants to raise my utility rates, says Dogcatcher. I need news in the morning.
morning. I need weather in the morning. I need traffic in the morning. You don't know what happened. I need to know what happened. News in the morning, weather and traffic. Weather every morning for weather. Bring an umbrella or wear a scarf. They give me my traffic reports. In the morning when you turn on the radio. Turn on the radio. It's a good morning. Turn on the radio. Start your day. The power of knowledge. On News Radio 1200 WOAI. Now, Spectrum is offering free VIP same-day installation. Get Spectrum Internet with speeds up to a gig and a two-year price guarantee, plus a $100 Visa Rewards card. Don't miss this limited-time offer. Call 844-569-0429 by 6 p.m. and get free VIP installation as soon as tonight. Installation must be completed same day or next day to qualify for free install. Go to SpectrumFreeInstall.com for full details. Restrictions apply. I'm Michael Souter, managing partner of Wood Tools of Texas, doing business as Woodcraft. I needed a bank that could take care of my needs in an instant. Amigee Bank has been wonderful about keeping communications open. and It's important to have a bank that understands your business first so that when you make a decision to do some expansion, they understand what you need and how you're going to do it. Amigee Bank. Here you grow. A division of Zions Band Corporation and a member FDIC. Well, the Nuggets have put some distance between themselves and the Spurs. It's 101-84 Denver with 705 remaining in the fourth quarter. We mentioned the fact that LaMarcus Aldridge was sitting courtside to recognize the LaMarcus. They've already recognized Chris Bosch, who, of course, is originally from Dallas, went to Lincoln High School. And T.J. Ford, we mentioned, legendary Longhorn player, who also played with the Spurs, doing some television tonight with the Spurs. Let's get an update from Chris Duell at Spurs Radio Net Center. Final from New Orleans, the Pelicans beat the L.A. Clippers 112-104. to Zion Williamson, 34 for the Pelicans. Bill. Thanks very much. Trey Jones with the free throw line. The foul against Peyton Watson was challenged by Michael Malone, but an unsuccessful challenge. So that means Trey Jones will go to the line for the Spurs. He's 2 of 4 from the field. 5 points, 7 assists, and 4 rebounds for Trey Jones, who's shooting his free throws at 88%. Only three players previously in Spurs history have led the team in field goal percentage Mighty and assists. Bang the Wildcats. And David Robinson, Tony Parker, Who could they and face in the Pac-12 final? Trey I'm not Jones sure. Trey Jones the team of those departments. Free throws good. Jones knocks it away, picked up by Murray. Inside seven minutes, it's 101-86 Denver. Yeah, that's not looking good, but it's for the Spurs Collins, tonight. Jab, step, step back, jumper over Zach. That shot's short off the rim. And the rebound so what's usually Jones. in this arena, three Butterfly? The other way. Jones drives on Christian Brown. Off to the corner, Champagne for this, three. This game is that's in Austin, ball. right, or no? Rebound, Jamal Murray. And Murray brings it back against Trey Jones. Bounce pass inside. Najee, lay it up and good. As he had inside position on Zach Collins. I like First the sound two, of this broadcast. Technology. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like an old radio broadcast, huh, dude? going to be on holiday. Two free throws coming up here for Devin Vassell. 6.26 remaining in the fourth quarter. It's kind of like an old radio broadcast. Well, that's what it is, but, but just not old. That holiday uh, is the second of the third team. But it's got that sitting in a... Uh, and at the free line, Devin In an old Vassell. square out in the middle of nowhere type vibe to it, for sure. And Vassell will have one more. Vassell tonight, 5 of 11 from the floor. He's got 12 points and 2 assists. 2 of 4 from beyond the arc. The Spurs are 10 of 26 from 3-point range. The Nuggets are 8 of 21. Next free throw is good. Spurs have once again been out short a lot. Yeah, transistor radio. 25 to 9 tonight. Christian Brown dribble hand off to Murray. Outside left, Peyton Watson pull-up jumper. That's a good mid-range shot there for Peyton Watson. He's got eight, and it's 105. Texas Longhorn, own the arena, Texas the sports, floor, concerts, anything you can think yeah, of. Depending on the drive, but, uh, uh, but, but this one is in, the in San Antonio and tonight. Saves the rebound from going out of bounds. Here's Watson taking there you go, some rope. Bounce pass inside Holiday, drops it off left wing. It's Murray for three, and he got Cougars it. Cougars and Beavers. Jamal Murray with a three-pointer. He's warming up. He's got 15. 5.45 remaining in the game. And it's 108.88 now. 20-point lead for the Nuggets. All right, 20-point lead, y'all. Collins reversed pivot, missed the shot, but he got fouled by Watson. 
Peyton Watson picked up his fourth personal foul. That's the fourth team foul. I'm thinking about pivoting. I'm thinking about pivoting to that final game. game. Free throws coming up. Atlanta, here Utah. Time. Collins at the line has played 14 nah, minutes. We'll just 11 hang points, here. six boards. He's five for eight in the field. <sighs> Free throw for Collins is good. Do I have enough money season, for the movies? I have like ball game at 74%. And food, 60 bucks. Johnson checks out. Oh, yeah, that Sohan should be enough, in. Bob, to go to the movies. Sohan so far tonight, 13 points. Three rebounds and four assists. That should be enough, dude. On five of eleven shooting, and one more free throw here for Zach Collins with five forty to go. The game in the ball is an awesome free throw. Is good. Oh, okay. One hundred eight ninety is the score. Oh, enter it. Okay, so two Jeffrey games this weekend. And the ball. Kristen Brown brings it up against Julian Champagny. Hands it off the holiday. The it looks like a good Murray crowd. By Sohan taking the left side driving. Murray tried to get it off the Najee, but the ball got knocked out of bounds. Yeah, you've got enough, Bob. Fourteen on the shot clock for Denver. Michael Malone out there mid Yeah, you should have enough play. for uh, movies and Christian food. Brown, Zeke Najee. I mean, you can't Holiday. go to no fancy restaurant or nothing. Peyton Watson and Jamal <laughs> you can't go to, uh, to Mazatlan and get some uh, Spurs bench right. <laughs> Mexican ch- Mexican uh, seafood or nothing. Three. But three. He's got 13 off the bench. It's like an Inca from and Peru. He's a dog catcher. Here's a left wing three by the cell. The cell with a three pointer. But now with 5 10 to go in the ball game, it's 111 93. Denver with lead in the ball. Murray on a drive into the paint with the left hand. Bounce fast inside. And now she got tied up for a moment. Pass goes back out front to Christian Brown. Brown backs up his dribble against Vassell. Takes it left 80, side. 80,000 seats. Into the paint. Stops and pivots. That, that's... Back out front to Murray. Yeah, Murray's I don't think 80,000, Butterfly. Look that up, girl. <laughs> Look that up. That would be the biggest arena on earth. <laughs> I think that would be the biggest arena on earth. With 447 remaining in the game, and this first trailing 111-93. Wemby in this game. Someone look up Frost Center. Three blocks and two assists. Seating number. He's going to try to drive it inside. Does to the right corner, Champetti. He'll drive to the top of the lane. <laughs> There's right no way. Sohan, spinning no inside. way it's Sohan got 80,000 seats. Too strong. Gets his own rebound. And his follow is off the backboard. No good. Follow slam is good. Third time to charm for Jeremy Sohan. And with 420 remaining in the game, it's 111.95. 15 points for Sohan. Murray Everything is big in Texas, his dog catcher. Downing on a right hand dribble. Jamal Murray now takes the right side. Against Sohan. Pulls from the elbow, no shot. Left wing, loose ball picked up by Watson. Watson, the contested jumper from the elbow is good over Trey Jones. Peyton Watson's got 10. 15,000, there we go. The ball game. <laughs> 113.95 is the score. Denver with the lead. I was like, Dodger Stadium three. holds like 80,000. Deep rebound on the floor picked up by Zeke Nagy. Front court right. It is uh, Watson driving inside. Missed the runner. Got his own rebound. Follow high off the backboard. No good. Again, they try to fight for the rebound. Can't do it this time. It's Jones. big in my mind. The <laughs> Yama, the catch underneath. He got fouled. Nagy was there along with Murray and Holiday. The foul's going to be on Zeke Nagy. Two free throws coming up. First personal foul on Najee, and the 15th foul, Wembenyama, will go to the line. You were close. You were close, Butterfly. He's only got two field goals this game, two of nine. One of four beyond the arc. 11 points, seven boards, two assists, five personal fouls for Victor Wembenyama tonight. And two free throws here. First of two for Victor is good. Does Matthew McConaughey own the Moody Center? 47% of the field and 33% from three-point range. The Spurs now had 20-plus assists in 125 consecutive games. It's the longest streak in NBA history. And entering tonight's game, the Spurs were number two in the league in assists, which is hard to believe for a team that's in last place at the Western Conference. Wembenyama's second free throw rattles in. Three and a half minutes to go in the game. It's one thirteen. I do believe that. I do the believe the Texas uh, football 13. stadium holds that many. Now the top seek Naji. Taking a right side hands to Murray. Jamal Murray in the key. Backs up his dribble against Jeremy Sohan. I think you've got some high school Murray football stadiums Sohan. in Texas Sohan. that hold over 15,000 as well, though. Short rebound. Devin Vassell had it. Lost it. Got it back on the floor. 
And he gets tied up, but I think there's going to be a foul here. A timeout. He owns a part of it. There's going to be a timeout for Greg Popovich and the Spurs. With 3.09 remaining in the ballgame, Denver right now has control. They lead at 113.97. It's a 16 point lead for the Nuggets. With 3.09 remaining in the fourth quarter, Spurs Radio of the Moody Center. I know this not because I looked it up, but because I am the president of the MCU. Well, anywhere you want. At Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas, we understand what it means to take your health well beyond. Because wherever your journey takes you, your health and wellness go with you. From the beginning of something new to the start of a new (laughs) beginning. Retiring for the night somewhere under the stars. Or living out your wildest dreams after retiring. Greater all-around health starts by making sure greater access to health care is all around you. With new technologies Texas is a place and innovative really platforms loves to see. right in the palm Texas of your hand. Texas is a place to stay on top of I really love to see. Why Blue Cross is committed to advancing and simplifying All the experience my exes well live in Texas. Trusted from the beginning, will be forever by your side. No matter the state you find yourself in. Always elevating your health care well beyond. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas, a division of Healthcare Service Corporation, a mutual legal reserve company. You're going to love this house, Sergeant Riley. Just look at these high ceilings. The upstairs is even better. Bonnie, is it McConaughey is a right teacher at window. UT. Upstairs? I don't see 20, any 000? stairs. Oh, you just strap $100 on this million dollar and high school right stadium. Up. Crazy, bro. Up this rock climbing wall. There's no field manual for finding the right home. But when you do, USAA Homeowners Insurance can help protect it the right way. Like saving up to 15% with our claims-free discount if you haven't filed a claim in five years, even if you've been with another provider. Learn more today at USAA.com slash insuremyhome. USAA. Discounts vary by location and may not be available in all states. Restrictions apply. Membership eligibility and product restrictions apply and are subject to change. USAA means United Services Automobile Association and its affiliates, San Antonio, Texas. Welcome back to the Moody Center in Austin, Denver, 113, San Antonio, 97. Here are the case buds that winning the field is a little bit of water wing from Whataburger. Whataburger are the Spurs that came up for your chance to win a trip for two with upcoming Spurs away games. Go to spurs.com slash Whataburger. Deadline of the winner is March 26th. All right, back to live action here in just a moment. With 3.09 remaining in the fourth quarter, Denver leads the Spurs 113.97. Ticketmaster brings you what's next. And what's next? Another game here at the Moody Center. Sunday night. We get back the on the Clippers, y'all. That'll be a <laughs> How did we get back so on the game, Clippers? Uh, we'll be on Bally's TV. <laughs> and we'll be on the air at 5.30 with Spurs radio game night. Wembenyama straight away against Murray. Posting him up in the baseline. Pivots. 10 to shoot. Top of lane, Sohan. He'll drive it inside. He lost the handle, and he got picked off. Holiday with the steal. Holiday coming the other way for Denver. Out front to Murray. Murray takes it right side against Sohan. Driving him into the lane. Murray, the left corner. Christian Brown for three. In and out, no good. Wembenyama with the rebound for San Antonio. That's his eighth. Here's Jones on a drive. A whistle, reach in foul on Murray. And the question is whether or not Trey Jones was in the act of shooting. And Justin Van Dyne says he was. You were. You should see the uh, the soccer Murray. thing that they made here in town. Um, it's beautiful. It doesn't have huge seating, but wow, it's all uh, all synthetic fields, brand new, brand new everything. There's a synthetic synthetic track around it as well. They're trying to lure a semi-pro soccer team to town. Field goal percentage at 51 percent. Actually, Malachi Branham is the best free throw shoot. Shooter on the team at 94 percent. He does not in. wear deodorant. Says but he butterfly. Beats the team in field goal percentage <laughs> and in assists, and that's only been done three previous times in franchise history. He splits the pair, gets the second they free throw. Eight man now football at dog catches. High school. All knocked away and out of bounds. Right in front of Greg Popovich, and right in front MK. of us. Curtis Blair says, "Hey Watson." Come over here to get the ball inbounds. I need you to come over here to get the ball inbounds. <laughs> Butterfly <laughs> likes the shirt list, but Big doesn't one. everyone. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> he gets into Brown. Now it's a whistle and a push in the back on Bissell. Devin Bissell picks up his first personal foul. That's the third team foul against the Spurs. 
with 2.27 remaining in the ballgame. Watson will get it in. Michael Malone calls out a play. Yeah, I'm not As getting 10,000 views today, Brown. y'all. I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> I had a hell of a start to the month. But, <laughs> but it's over. <laughs> 2,400 views, 40 likes. Jones in the right way. Outside to Wimbanyama for three. In and out, though, good. Rebound, Jamal Murray. Christian Brown brings it up. With two minutes straight up remaining in the fourth quarter. Brown on a drive. Got bumped by Johnson. Gets called for a traveling violation. As I think he was trying to drop it off for Murray. And Murray had vacated that spot. So, turnover is number 11 against the Nuggets. Cell gets it into Jones. Out there with Wimbanyama, Johnson, and Sohan. Jones guarded out front. All right, all right, all right. Brown onto the right side now, Wembenyama. Wemby takes the handoff and gives it instead to Jones. Jones hey, y'all, let's rim. go down the to Hippie Hollow. So Victor Wembenyama, he's got 15. Give Trey Jones an assist, and he's got eight of those. Annual membership? 135 <laughs> remaining. Scores 115-100. No. Denver by 15. With a minute and a half to you go. know, it's so a common thing in Germany at the uh, outdoor Murray swimming pools, y'all, for Jones. everyone to be yeah, topless. By Sohan, loose ball picked up by common Watson. deal. Watson dribbles it out front against Johnson. He'll common deal. Three, almost it in. No good. Rebound it's pretty Bissell. cool until you get there and realize old, uh, takes the right side against old Heike Brown. there is laying there with her the 40 double Jones. Ds he lobs and two, two big patches of hair under her pits. The layup for two. Holiday with the bucket. And it's 117 to 113 points for Holiday. 17-point lead for Denver. Here's Jones taking the side reverse lane, put it off the bottom of the backboard. Loose rebound picked up by the Spurs. Sohan lays it up and in. 17 for Jeremy Sohan, but it's not going to be enough as the Spurs trail by 15. Inside a minute to go. Bring the ball up the floor. Peyton Watson lost it to Keldon Johnson. Johnson uh, probably, the Bob, probably. To Sohan, he'll lay it up, and that's a goaltending call. Against Denver, they give a bucket to Jeremy. The one Sohan. state park in Oregon has a nude and beach. It's called Rooster now. Rock. Cock a doodle doo. <laughs> Sohan, eight of sixteenth, the floor. <laughs> so now Vassell looks over to see what Pop wants to run here. Matt Nielsen, assistant coach, also up off the bench. Justin Strother coming in for Denver. Strother is a rookie from Gonzaga, 6'6", 205. Watch out, early rising cock of duty doofiness. Points, one rebound and one assist. And now the officials are taking a look at this. As I thought there was a goal sending call against Denver there. I'm not going to the and last game challenge. tonight, yo. I'm not going to the last one. <laughs> uh, with 42 seconds to go and a 13-point lead. I'm getting out of here. Denver. We'll take a quick break. 42 seconds remaining. Denver leads it by 13, and Spurs Radio continues in a moment. Global superstar, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, nope, we're not hearing that. It looks like we got a review in this game. Time has come to say goodnight. <laughs> I did it my way. I Richard Julian Strawler on the floor as well uh, for the Denver Nuggets. Sohan's free throw is off the back of the rim, though good. Johnson fights the rebound, can control. Jay Huff is checking the ball game now for Denver. Say more about him in just a second. He's a rookie or a third year player from Virginia. Mike Broke, Hasn't testing one, two, three. Seven, one, two, forty. Third year player from Virginia, Jay Huff on the floor. Inbound pass comes from Trey Jones with 14 to shoot. Off to Wembenyama. At the Later, Alex. Line. Have a good and night, buddy. Jones Have a good day, I guess. Jumper. Sayonara. It is so hand. We'll take it inside. To the right wing, Jones, four to shoot. Floater off the backboard. No. Slam, slam dunk, Wemby. Wimby with authority. And nine rebounds for Victor Wembenyama. 
28 seconds yep, to go. There will be a post going out probably within Randy minutes Jack of me logging off for Run the NASCAR numbers. And Jack looks like Good night, Gracie. Going to enjoy the colors, and sunset, shot here. and the first 70-degree day here, says Dogcatcher. Fun-ass chat. So glad I was here for the Japanese translations. violation here. <laughs> Nikola Jokic comes over to say hi to Greg Popovich. Michael Malone also. I'm putting up the community post in about five minutes. Five minutes. That community and, uh, post is going to go up to pick your tonight. numbers. As they defeat the San first come, third. first serve. The Denver Nuggets have now won 10 of the last 11. They're back in first place in the Western Conference. As they take care of business tonight against the Spurs, they shoot 55% from the field. Right, this one is they final. 31 points, Nikola Jokic. And they knock off the Spurs. The final score of the Moody Center in Austin. Denver, 117. San Antonio, 106. Boom. Basketball. Spurs basketball has been brought to you by AT&T. The game we... We'll see you, Sheila. Five-minute warning. <laughs> That's right, Val. Somehow you got us all to hang out with your craziness. Theo, do you want the 12 or do you want to fight for it, buddy? Do you want the 12 or do you want to fight for it? See ya, Sheila. Glad you got to enjoy most of the rain, says Summer Obe. NASCAR Heart, says Alex. The 12 is yours, Theo, if you want it, buddy. Just tell me before I log off. You know I want the 12. Okay. 12 is Theo's. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Good night, Gracie. Thank you to the members, the V-Homies, subscribers, Berserkers. Uh, let me see if I picked up any subscribers today, y'all. It's got rough the last two days. Not a one. Oh, oh, 10. We picked up 10. Do a raid. We only got 11 people. <laughs> what kind of raid is that going to be? It was a great party. We're going to watch a movie. See, we don't know it yet, but we're about to watch a movie. Good night, everybody. Good night, Grover, you POS. <laughs>